Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. You assholes. Um, welcome. Uh, tonight should be an interesting episode. Um, but before we begin, let's go ahead and get through our announcements for the evening. So, welcome, and uh, first and foremost, tonight we are sponsored by our friends at Loot Crate. Thank you, Loot Crate, for being amazing sponsors. Uh, Sam, do you want to talk okay, about Okay, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm falling back in on an old crutch, an old beloved character. Oh, no. <laughs> oh man. Rody Slater is back to do another round. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gotta get a character. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho, it's me, Rody Slater, with another message from our sponsor, Lutcrat. <laughs> Whether you're dropping in on a party wave in Uluwatu or even Tamarindo, you won't look like a paddle puss if you haul your tray gnarly gear from El Crato del Luto. <laughs> This month's theme is Build, featuring sec brands like Power Rangers, Hang Ten, Batman, Wax It Up, Lego, Mondo Bitchin, and Tetris, Shaka. <laughs> so don't get raked over by a wiper. Point your nose to lootcrate.com slash criticalroll and use promo code criticalroll for 10% off your subscription. You'll be ratter than Tom Curran nailing a 360 air reverse rodeo. You'll be cooler than a tight onshore breeze at Malibu. You'll be more authentic than a sad voice actor searching for surfing terms on Yahoo Answers at 5 p.m. when he should be really spending more quality time with his children as their youthful lives pass by without their father. Precious moments ticking away until one day they're adults and you're standing at their wedding thinking, oh my god, I missed so much. I missed so very much. And for what? A loot crate ad? <laughs> anyway, ride that tube and subscribe today, Bonsai! I mean, I mean, it's a whole new echelon. Oh my god. It's a whole new. Uh, he just inceptioned the little oh, crazy. I, 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 uh, oh. Thank you for that. Incredible. Sam. Like failed Californian sketch <laughs> and turned it into Oscar winning material. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, it hurts. So, it hurts. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Bro Brody's a father. That's a, interesting to look at. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Many, many. Um, as a heads up, guys, we've done a couple of these and we're going to do a couple more of these upcoming For Honor streams where a few of us are going to be guesting on here a number of hours to play For Honor and beat the shit out of each other and other people as various historical uh, warriors of old. And a number of us actually, I think, voice in the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow, uh, joining uh, the Nerdist team from 9 a.m. to 12 noon Pacific time, we have Liam and Travis <laughs> be jumping on there. Go and then Vikings. on Saturday yeah. from 12 noon to 3 p.m., that's going to be Travis, Talos, and <laughs> Sam, Marisha, and myself on there, uh -oh. all playing yeah. the game, getting Whoa. crazy. Really? Uh, no. I have not. Because you suck. Oh my. Yeah. That's right. He I would knew not it. Play. He would know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it'll be here on the Twitch. Check it out. Um, I, I'm really coming? excited. I haven't played the game yet, the and everyone time. I know who's talked about it said it's ridiculously fun and amazing. Yeah. It's like like the upgrade of Dark Souls combat. I have to like really show up an hour early to learn it's how to fun. play, or I'm gonna get killed. We're gonna get killed yeah, a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna spot. I don't. Yeah. We gotta work on our death sounds. What? I'm leet, man. You're <laughs> going down and stuff. No, no I'm not down. Going yeah. You are, <laughs> you are the one down. falling in the opposite direction of up. Yeah. It's important to point out we're not doing walking anymore. We're doing our impression of Troy, doing an impression of nothing, <laughs> doing yeah. walking. Oh, wow. It's the a chain quad goes layer. deep. It is. Quad layer. That's a Whoa. That's Whoa. Just I don't even know what walking sounds like. <laughs> it's come through a daisy chain of assholes. It's, yeah. it's true. It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a next shirt. Daisy chain of ass. Yes, I'm okay with that. It's a um, critical role. It's not also, Don't Google that phrase. Um, <laughs> all right. Daisy chain next of up, we have uh, me breaking my pen. Oh uh, no. <laughs> April first. April first. WonderCon. WonderCon. Save. WonderCon! Save the date. We're we have. To save the date now. We do yes. now. That's oh, all the information shit. we have so far. But April first. WonderCon, Critical Role and Tox Machina live. Be in there, their be squared. Big room, it's gonna be good. Big room. It is not an squared? epic April Fool's joke. I told you it's no. really it's happening. It's really happening. Okay. It's really happening. And it's gonna be a big, big, rowdy room. So if you're like, oh, I don't wanna go, I'm not gonna, there's not gonna be any seats. 
There are going to be seats. No, yeah, it's funny seats. It's Bring April it if you can. It's April Fools. We're not going to be there. I can say that. You know what? I we're think I, I would go. On, I will promise that I will. I will play at least one April Fools joke on one of you during that. That uh, that panel. I'm, I'm excited. Can by I this. vote for I'm Brian? Not. Sure, of course. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I think he's that's not a great listening idea. to this right we now. We should have a poll. In the community for which member of the team <laughs> Sam gets to prank. Um, don't actually do that, please. I'm a big fan of Brian. We all know it's going to be. That's a really. That's a, that's a um, good, good also, man, we're being so transparent. Isn't it though? Uh, all right. Next wow. up, signal boost has returned. Mercy, if you want to talk about it that. It has what? returned. Oh snap! Oh my goodness, you guys. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. The amazing Darren DePaul already he kicked off the season. Did you beat? So good. It was it was He's, crazy. Yeah, he kind of set the bar really it's crazy. high. He's you awesome. guys know Darren as the voice of Reinhardt from Overwatch and many other things. He's also but the main villain, Arden, in Final Fantasy XV and a bunch of other games. Super talented. He's blowing up. He's in everything he's now. He's incredible. great. I don't care for him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's rude. <laughs> and he smells funny. <laughs> He didn't want to come. He didn't want to come on my show. Sigil boost. <laughs> oh. Sigil boost. Sigil boost. Well, wait. wow, I haven't heard of that wow. one. You guys yeah, just like draw no. weird circles. Yeah, and, yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, and people check. correct you for mispronouncing yeah. it. It's called sigil boost. Sigil, sigil boost. boost. Yeah. Yeah. Look for the gift of that now, please. There's sigil. Uh, yes, thank you. It's back. You should watch it. Yeah. Yeah, people. Yeah, Erky, she just did hers, and then Amy Dallin's up next, right? Amy Dallin is up next, and yeah. Good people. Yeah, you drain, you drain Erica Isha's blood. It's pretty great. Yes, we yeah. do. Yeah, um, sweet. Only do <laughs> yeah. once, though. Yeah. It's uh, a great trick, Sean. Do it. Lord, do you have a merch update? Do I? Do I? <laughs> do, do I? It's on the list. We watched Galaxy Quest last night. So great. So good. Again, for like the hundredth time. Um, you know, I mean, there, there's merch in the store right now. These dice bags that I'm holding in my hand, I literally just happen to be holding it as you asked me that, which is crazy. Um, there's a very small amount <laughs> of them plan. left, I happen to know. In the hundreds? Um, in the fifties? In the tens? Uh, Baker's dozen. In the barely hundreds. Wow! Yeah, so. Yeah. Which is a lot. I want, I want fire. Which is, you know, it could be a lot or it couldn't, cool. depending on if you want them. <laughs> wow. I'm happy. There's also shirts and hats and patches and Thanks. other stuff coming oh up that I'm real excited about, right. and I'll show it to you when it's here. Yeah. Such a beautiful sound. Allergies. Ugh. You watch the Toxic Wax. Mm. Yeah. You, you don't need that. that he can have that many you have to on the DVD. No. The whole movie, the entire movie. You oh, can watch it if, so you're, good. if you're drunk enough. That's pretty great. <laughs> All right. Anything else anyone wants to talk about? Or are we good? Uh, I think we're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna hop in and start off tonight's episode of Critical Role. Welcome back. Well so, to get you up to speed with our current story, Vox Machina, having just completed the destruction of the Chroma Conclave, a scourge of ancient chromatic dragons that have terrorized the countryside, they are victorious, yet in the process, lost a couple of lives. Percy returned, and Scanlan, his lifeless body, brought back the Whitestone. They completed the ritual correctly. 
Um, and he came, to, he came to life, however, he remains unconscious in a pseudo-coma. They left him in Whitestone, hopefully to recover, uh, while beginning to finish up some of their last business. Uh, they've been unable to, with the current rush of this current arc, uh, they made a journey to Vasselheim, where they walked through uh, the Abundant Terrace and into the birth heart itself, the, the Temple of Melora, uh, within Vasselheim. Uh, spoke with one of the uh, various worshippers there and uh, buried a box of ashes, apparently, of Sinukir's wife uh, as a thank you um, for when you guys journeyed and met him in the city of Brass on the Fire Elemental Plane. Upon doing so, you then uh, began to scatter about the city to do some business, one of the elements of which Grog Strongjaw, along with Pike, made their way to the Trial Forge, which is the, uh, the cord section of the city, um, returning to the Trial Forge, the Temple to Cord, and upon walking to the center of the strangely uh, empty temple structure, you saw down in a once previously traversed sand pit, there stood Earthbreaker Groon, the High Priest of Cord, who then turned to you and <laughs> asked you to show him what you had learned. After slamming his feet into the sand and preparing himself for conflict, he beckons you towards him. And that is where we left off. Oh God, oh God, so, oh God. as you're standing up there on the edge of this pit, Groon just stands there with his hand beckoning towards you. I reach into my bag of holding and I pull out a small drawing of the letter G. <laughs> this, this is what I have learned. That's not it. That's not what I wanted. And I take out the Dwarven Thrower, and I jump into the sand pit. Alrighty. <laughs> there, as you land in the sand, bombs your boots sinking, but a couple inches into the soft surface, uh, Pike gets ready to leap down after, and Groon puts his hand up. No. This fight oh, is for us. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we're here, we're here, we're watching it, right? Uh, you guys didn't say if you were. Yeah, we said we came in the temple with oh, him. Oh no, we're totally. No, 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 we're, we're here. here. So we're then here. you guys rush in afterward, hoping to. Hope we, uh, Morpheus is fighting Neo. You guys are just <laughs> <laughs> rushing in at this point. Yeah. yeah. Um, you all rushing on the outskirts here to watch. I'll, I'll pull you in over here to keep an eye on the sidelines. Grog, I need you to roll initiative. Oh my God! Big roll. Big roll. Big roll. Now Big money no on the count of three. I got a Jenga. Get him. That's shit. Oh God, oh God. Come on, come on. That, that's one worse. <gasps> Five. Oh. <gasps> You're going second. <laughs> <laughs> you can go away. Yo, second player okay. has You're advantages in, sometimes. <clears throat> so. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. sometimes. As you land and ready yourself with a hammer at the side, knowing that all of your friends are up along the outer uh, edges of this watching you, you look up at Groon, who just, his hands at the ready, puts him down on his side and just awesome. just walks up towards you and just stands there. Your turn. Oh. It's like a matador. What a Don't dick worry. move! Don't what a worry. dick move! Right. <clears throat> I, uh, 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 I bow and say, Cord strength be with you, and I smash the Titan Stone knuckles together. Alrighty. <laughs> Off to a start. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. That. I wish we had popcorn. Mm. Oh yeah. Is there popcorn in the studio? <laughs> no. Damn, Damn it! it. <laughs> Damn it, Denise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Always the bearer of bad news, that one. Alrighty. I'll say her name three times. Then. Dice roll, so I'll go. I'm sure. <laughs> I would like to move. I would like to move backwards, three squares. Okay. That's my turn. All right. On his turn, he stands there. Ah! He stares right at you. Fuck! I know it. Arms at the side. What, what is this? It's a jest already. So oh. I went for you to go first. I hate the SATs. <laughs> I, I hate scantrons. I hate number two pencils. I hate all of it. Don't blink. Don't blink. Roll with the player. Mm-hmm. 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 
I start in that same distance from him, the same radial distance I start walking to my right. My full, my full speed. Okay. That's my turn. He turns with you as you move. He just writes himself. And stares at you, your turn. <laughs> Worst chess game ever. I know, right? Smash got to two hours later. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, what okay. do you want me to All do? Right. <laughs> been like 15 Are you seconds? hungry? I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I would like to rage. Okay. And I do so by taking the dwarven thrower and smashing it against my chest. And then I chunk it at him. All right. <laughs> As you slam into your chest, you can feel the impact, and there's that brief, sharp bit of pain as the metal clashes against the muscle, slamming against the bone in your rib cage, and that pain just kind of shoots through you like exciting electricity, and you harness the pain as your eyes blur for a moment, as you feel the rage overtake you, your muscles flexing and tensing, and with that fury now flowing through your body, you take the hammer. I need you to go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. I knew it. I mean, I didn't know it. Which is uh, minus two, right? Yes. That's a six. As you go to throw, <clears throat> the strength leaves your arm and it just hangs limp at the side. The attack is lost. Uh, uh, any reason why? You don't know. Not that I know. Cool. Uh, do I have another attack? Yeah, you have two attacks. Uh, Jedi mind trick. I shake off the. the Random numb arm, and I toss it over to the other hand. I'm like, <laughs> come on, Betsy, and I throw it with that hand. Okay, roll another wisdom saving throw. <laughs> I don't know DND enough to know what the fuck's happening right now. <laughs> oh, 16? Hey, uh, 16, actually. Let me see this real fast. I have a modifier of zero. Mm. Minus two. Well, I rolled an 18. Monks, monks, are, monks are not in my wheelhouse. Hmm. I don't monks know anything about them. I feel like this guy is special, too. He's not even here. This right. is a dream. He's Slowly, <laughs> Raishan uncurls like a no. xenomorph no. from the ceiling. No. 16. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> you, you, this time, you do manage to push through and throw the hammer, but you end up throwing it way wide, like 20 feet away from him. Like, you're looking at him and you go <laughs> 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 And we just <laughs> It comes back and you catch it, and you're like, this, something's just messing with your mind. There's something about his presence right now that is oppressing your ability to actually attack towards him. All right, all I have is my bonus action. We used your bonus action to rage, right? Oh, I did, yeah. I don't have a bonus action. That's my turn. <laughs> all right. He turns towards you, walks forward. Oh, no. Very, s just carefully, intently. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Wow. That's his turn. You go. God dang it! Oh, man. Interesting. What does he want? <laughs> I try and hit him with it with both hands. Okay, so you go using both hands. Yeah, to both hands. Go for it. Roll wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> this little boy smile. <laughs> Six. <laughs> you go to swing, and he seems to blur for a moment. Your eyes blink, and as you swing with the hammer, you swung far to your left, and it's almost like your arms are intentionally missing and almost fighting your direct oh, sense of combat. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, I, I I keep the hammer in one hand, but I just try and punch him with the Titan Stone knuckle out of frustration. Okay, make it with some saving throw. Right. No weapon in my hand. Mm -hmm. Nine. You go to punch, and by the time it gets to his chest, there's so little force behind it that your fingers just kind of unfold open against him, almost breaking your wrist in the process. And you pull back, and he's just staring right at you. Show me you have the will to fight. Come at me. Are you gonna move, or are you gonna stay where you are? Uh, uh, I'm going to stay within his attack range, but I'm going to 180 around him. Okay, that's easy enough to get around here. Alrighty. And I'll stay there. All right, for his turn. He turns around. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Your turn. <laughs> this is a nightmare. 
I just want to hit him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Maybe it's all about love. And I try and give him a bag. Okay. Make a wisdom save. Go! <laughs> You got this. Natural 20. That's a zero. <laughs> I rolled a two. Zero. Exactly. You go to grab him, and you reach, and you you feel his physical form in your grasp, and then your arms all of a sudden touch nothing, and you realize that he's standing where he was. You grabbed it, what was almost like a mirage or an illusion. It's almost like your brain is playing tricks on you. This one attack. <laughs> Yeah. You can do it, Grog! I don't know what he wants, but figure it I out! so pathetic right now. Yo, how does it look to the rest of the gang? Yeah, I agree. It looks hilarious. <laughs> what did we just see? It, well, it's, it's hilarious and it's disconcerting, because you're watching his Grog in the middle of his rage. Most of his attacks are amateur, far too wide away from the target, or by the time they get close, he is holding himself back. And you don't know why. He's just something is is messing with his will and preventing him from being able to follow through with his attacks. Okay. Second attack. What Second attack. I just want to touch him with my finger. <laughs> just, just the, like, just a boop. Okay. You reach out and your finger touches his chest. You He's there. He's real. He's, He's there. Real. The skin's there. Thought you might be a dragon. Wisdom saving throw. That wasn't an attack. Oh, I touched him! You touched Good him. Good job, Grog! We believe in you, Grog! Okay, now ramp it up! <laughs> yeah. He smiles at you and goes, and with gentleness, there comes clarity. Ooh. I think you're gonna have to fuck him, Grog. <laughs> <laughs> That's your turn? That's my turn. Okay. <laughs> what? With now, gentleness so this is with gentleness, there comes clarity. <laughs> And he smiles through his big white gray beard, and the smile fades. His eyes oh, yeah. flash, and he is going to attack you with a flurry of blows. Ooh, oh no! Oh no! What? Wait! 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 I haven't learned the lesson yet. I'm still. The lesson's just begun. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. All right, that is. Time uh, out. Ooh, 33 to hit. Nope. Yep. Uh, that is a 24 to hit. Yep. Uh, that is an actual one, so that is a hey. failure, and you have 32 to hit. So he hits you three times. Jeez, your so you're raging, damage? so you take half damage from these because they're bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. so he's punching you, but as he, his eyes flash, he rushes up and pummels you once in the chin, elbows you in the sternum, goes and grabs your shoulder and leaps over behind you, and then kicks straight back into the middle of your shoulder blades. And you feel the breath almost get kicked out of you. Uh, that is that is 15 bludgeoning damage, uh, halved to seven. We'll say Six, eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Uh, that is nine reduced to five. Ten. And that is 13 uh, reduced to seven. There you go. Oh shit! That was 20 points of damage. Cool. That's his turn. You're up. Uh, yeah. Sweet, sweet anus. Um. What do it's mugs do? It's a really do? good British candy. Can I like um? Sweet, I know. So. Can I use my my magic powers, and I want to keep my eyes closed, and I'm gonna swing around behind me, knowing that I just got kicked in the back there. Okay, go and make an attack with disadvantage. Oh, no, no wisdom saving throw. Nope. With gentleness comes clarity. You touched him. Maybe if you'd have shaken his hand. With disadvantage. Disadvantage because you have your eyes closed. Uh, twenty-three. It just barely hits. Oh. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Oh. A ten. Wow. What did we learn from that? I should have done it reckless. No, no, no! I don't want him rolling reckless. No. Holy shit! His God, I'll die in a second. No, but close your eyes. Three, what? Four, what? Ten, they might be touch. I'm so Fifteen. confused. It's like you're You've got the touch. That's uh, 18 points of damage. Mm -hmm. 18 points of damage. Gotcha. So that's your first strike. Uh -huh. <laughs> you feel the weapon behind you make contact with <gasps> the form and <laughs> you see a little, little bit of sand out of your peripheral. It's like a as his form gets pushed about a foot, kind of setting some of it off. So it goes 
I close my eyes again and I swing around the other way and try to connect. Okay, roll, well, give him a disadvantage. <laughs> That's not bad, that's not bad. 14 and 20, uh, 29. That hits, yes. Yes, uh, okay. Damn, same thing, so 18 points of damage. <laughs> 18 points of damage, Alrighty. <clears throat> As he takes both impacts, kind of pairing them with his uh, forearms with each impact, they're still hitting him, and he's still taking the brunt of the, uh, the, the attack and the pain, but with each, Hit, you can feel just the force of his forearm is almost stopping still uh, the hammer blow as you're throwing it behind you. And you can see him gritting teeth with each impact, but he's just staring right at you again as you kind of spin around, open your eye again to see you know, what, what you did. Um, he kind of gives you a, a bit of a narrowed glare. Stink eye? A little bit of a stink eye. Fuck. But like an intentional kind of connecting point and just pink says, eye. No, that's a whole different. Mm. That's a that, that's a different monk path. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like that little hobbit. It's like hum. Uh, he. Be nice. Let's see Someone here. I'll show you. I'm a student here. <laughs> What's the okay. lesson? What's the lesson? He's gonna go ahead and attack you twice. <clears throat> <clears throat> Two punches, straight to your uh, back, of your shoulders and neck as you're turning around to look at him. Uh, that is a seventeen. Uh, uh, that is, no, that is that hits. Yeah, it's my yep. AC. And a twenty-three. So both yep. hit you. That is uh, sixteen. So eight damage. Okay. And that is ten. So five damage. Okay. And he's going to spend three key. Um, three key. Yeah, three key points. So this, the first punch hits you across the chin. The second one, he slams his fingers curled up. Right into your sternum as you turn around oh, uh, to face him. Whack! And as it hits you, you feel these kind of vibrations, ripples carry through your body, <laughs> and then slowly fade inside. And you feel this like tingling, this very faint, brief numbness that just kind of lingers throughout your body. You can feel it gathering at the edge of your uh, fingertips and toes, almost like ripples through a, a lake. And he steps away. You get to make attack of opportunity if you'd like. I would. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget, you can use your reaction to get an attack back because of your retaliation ability. Yeah, I've, I've totally forgotten that. I'm just yeah. totally stunned at this point. <laughs> so go. That's good. Uh, that's uh, 32. 32 hits. Yeah. Good roll damage. That's a 10. Yeah. Uh, All so, these sounds are in game. 20, 25. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, 25, nice. <laughs> when Grog becomes Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, and he just stands across the way and just kind of beckons you to come towards him. Your turn. And I feel all shake weighty at the moment, right? Yeah, you're not quite sure. You don't feel bad. It's just this kind of uneasiness in your body. Can I take a step towards him? Mm hmm. Take a step forward. Does anything happen? Do I shit my pants? Nope. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Can I take the other four steps of the five step exploding heart Bold. point technique <laughs> thing? Seems fine. Cool. What would you have done if you shot your pants? Oh my god, that would have been amazing. Just explosive shit. I'd be like, kill me now. Just lost kill me now, belt. take it away. That's right now. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to bring out the cone just template for that. <laughs> like a very dedicated marathon runner. Area of effect. Yeah. <laughs> Can I close the rest of the distance to him? Sure. Uh, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 30, 30, Yep. I want to try the bear hug again. I want to grapple him. Okay. Um, so go ahead, and I think it's your athletics versus his. So I can touch him now. Acrobatics, I'm pretty sure. The wisdom saving throw was something in the beginning. Yeah, I think it was you know, like. I like the idea that it's silent in here, and we're just hearing sand get kicked around and grog breathing like a bull. I like to think that yeah. Earthbreaker Groon has like mood music for his Agreed, fights. Yeah. There's frustrated yeah. grunts. He's got a sound so system. So make an athletic like war drums. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Big Tycho. That'd be yeah. sick. Totally. Uh, Twenty-four. Kesha. Kesha. Plus sixteen plus eight. Uh, yeah, okay, so you go to grab him and he just <laughs> slips out. This place Damn. About to yeah. blow. Hit my athletics versus his <laughs> judo. He just kind of like parries it to the side, ducks under, and rights himself. Oh, shit. 
just out of your grasp. Cool. That was uh, that was nice. Do I have a second attack? Yeah. Uh, two-handed great weapon master, please. Okay. Try it. Go for it. That's not going to hit. Uh, 24. 24 hits. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, 23. That's 23 right. 23 was a threshold. Thank you, Gold. No, it doesn't. 24 minus 5. Oh, minus 5. Yeah, it does not. Mm-hmm. So as you go to swing both of your hands and the hammer, <laughs> giant downward arc. Uh, as it slams downward, you see his form just kind of shift, and suddenly he's two feet to the right. He moved so fast with the sidestep, and you slam it down into the, the sand. You guys watch as this crater emerges, and poof, all the sand kind of just shoots off the sides from the impact of Grog's blow onto the ground. Gruen seemingly unaffected. <sighs> that, that, that ends my... Because uh... you're not frenzy yet, right? Nope, that ends my... Turn. Yep. Okay. At the end of your turn, uh, he's going to go ahead and make an unarmed attack on you. Unarmed attack. That's just his punch as part of his legendary action here. So that is a 27 to hit. Oh, it hits. You suffer another 10 points of legendary damage to reduce to five. Okay. Now it's Gruen's turn. Mm. Uh, <coughs> Two layer actions. He's going to go ahead and. And make another series of attacks on you. That is a tw- uh, no, an eighteen. Hits yep. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, Seventeen hits also. All right. So that is nine plus eight. Take uh, that'd be seventeen. So say nine points nine. of bludgeoning. And then ooh, eighteen. So another nine points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, he is then going to. I need you to go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw. Damn! 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 Gina. Nice pull. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. As he, as his first hit is a long round, like like haymaker punch across the chin. He comes from underneath and goes for an uppercut that hits you right in the jaw, uh, right at the side where usually it would snap and and really mess with somebody's ability to stay either conscious or or control their atmosphere. You. Just managed to maneuver out of the way where it hurts, but the impact doesn't hit its intended place, and you uh, resist the effect. What was the effect? You don't know. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea. Yeah. Instant knockout. Uh, I shit my pants before the spot's over with. On the button? It's the button. It's the brown note. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's your turn. My turn. I am so tired of this slippery shit. I go into a frenzy rage. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, I would like to great weapon master try to hit him uh, with the dwarven with the dwarven thrower. Go for it. Re- not reckless. Hmm. No. I don't know what the lesson is. <laughs> uh, thirty-two minus five is thirty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. That hits. Yeah. 30, 32 <laughs> minus 5 is 37. 10, 25, 35. Okay. Whew. This one cracks him right across the side of his uh, shoulder and peck area. Wham! And you watch as, for the first time since this battle started, he loses his footing Whoa. and has to catch himself behind. His head looks back and it turns around towards you, and a big smile goes across his face as he goes, Good. Keep showing me. I was encouraged until he got creepy with the talking. <laughs> Maybe he just likes getting hit. All right, I hit him again. Go for it. <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna hit. That's a 31 minus five is 26. Yeah, good roll damage. <laughs> Seven, 20. 22, 32. 32. 32, nice. He's got All like right. 5,000 hit points. More than Last one, life. reckless. Okay. Ooh. What's life about a little spice? Eh? <laughs> sure. Ask, ask him. Oh, 18, not quite. Uh, 34, 29. That hits him. Yeah. Close to what I wanted. This is uh, 20, 33. 30, 33. Okay. 
Okay, cool. All right, so as you unleash this next series of blows against him, uh, each as he, you saw him topple from the first hit, the other two, he pulls his arms in and takes him one to the shoulder, the other one hits him in the stomach, Poof! and he grabs your arm and pushes off, jumps in the air and lands about five feet from you. Um, uh, as he uses his... Is he like bruised? Is there like a slap mark? I mean, is there any blood? Anything uh, to tell me I might be doing a good job? You're, he looks more so than the previous fight that you had with him. It looks like he's starting to take some hits. Good, yeah. He he's going to use legendary up, action to really take a hit on you. Legendary action. Uh, that is a 30. Hits. Actually, it's with advantage, because... <laughs> yep. So that is another... Nine points of legend damage. Sweet. Not half. That, that is what it is half. Oh, okay. Because it's be, legendary. It would be 18, yeah. Right. <clears throat> okay. His turn. He slowly walks around you. And uh, says, Your size is useful for those who know not how to use it against you. And he rushes down beneath your large standing form and goes into a series of strikes against the inside of your knees and your legs, and we'll see how the last blow hits. I've that's a thirty. My damage. On, yeah, that's oh. a thirty on the first hit. Yep. Uh, that is a twenty-one on the second hit. Yes, sir. Taint punch. Last one's a taint. Three. Sixteen. Uh, that is a twenty-nine on the third hit. <laughs> how many hits are there? Four. And a natural twenty on the fourth. <gasps> Oh. Yeah. Wow, I had to reckless, oh. huh? Yeah, cool. Oh, right. Vegas is a short right. trip this time. <laughs> yeah. So that is uh, 18 reduced in half, it's nine. Okay. Uh, that is 14 reduced in half, is seven. Okay. Uh, that is a nine reduced in half, is five. And okay. then the final strike is. Okay, five. That is a 20. Just in half it is. Could I use my stones endurance on that last one? Sure, go for it. All right. Nice. That's twelve uh, plus my constitution, which is a five, so seventeen. And I would like you to make a another constitution save, if mm. you don't mind. Shit. So do I add seventeen hit points back? You uh, well no you you reduced the attack it was ten damage yeah so just so I just wipe it out and does not okay cool okay I'm getting down there really He's God, down since you should save me bro yeah <laughs> uh, eighteen eighteen ten plus ten minus two is eighteen okay um, you feel from that impact all of your muscles seize up he goes for the same strike zone. On the other side of the chin, and it hits, Ooh. and you kind of oh, as you pull back, and then feel all of a sudden this pulse, oh, the pulse, oh, all your muscles tense up. You are stunned until the end of your next turn. Shit! <laughs> what does being stunned do? You can't, can't move. move. Can't move. Can't do anything. You're considered yeah. the Vulcan pinched. Yeah, Groons in Vegas, and your eyes just came up pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna pull an arrow out and just stand there and get ready in case Groon does anything. Okay. Uh, Grun is thinking I'm going to go ahead and step back. To there. What? Oh. I should be there. He's waiting for you to become unstunned. Okay. And as he kind of just darts back, you guys watch as he runs to the back, as he does his feet barely touch the sand. You see these very faint little plumes behind each footstep as this giant man has almost no weight across the ground like here. He runs rabbit. with such speed. And then as he lands and finds his footing, poof, the weight seems to kick in once more, and you watch as the sand shoots out behind him. He stands his ground and crosses his arms and just watches. So, Grog, it's your turn. You're stunned. You end your turn, you're no longer stunned. It's now back to him. Fuck. He puts his hand up. Puts it up towards you. <coughs> Closes his fingers. Oh no, I've seen this before. And you feel this in your chest, right in the sternum where he hit you earlier. Um, I need you to go ahead and roll a Constitution saving throw again. God. Twenty-three minus two, twenty-one. Ooh. Twenty-one. Ooh. I, constitution, I have a lot of in my saving throws. That <laughs> sound. Ripples out, and you feel the muscles begin to tear. The ligaments begin to burn from the inside. You manage to 
through the sheer force of physical constitution, shrug off what would have been an immensely more deadly circumstance, but you still do take 10d10 necrotic damage. Oh! It would have been 20 damage! No, he would have dropped to zero hit points. Yeah. Oh, shit! Is that the palm, the thing? It's the quivering palm. Yeah. He's not holding back this time. Oh, no! Well, I mean, don't, don't make any special so exceptions 12, on my part. Vax is watching, he just leaked a little bit. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> 18, oh, 26. No one will ever notice the armor already stinks. <laughs> <laughs> To take 51 points of necrotic damage. 52? 51 points of Got necrotic damage. Now again. Okay. How and much damage? 51 points of necrotic damage. <coughs> I'm out of the triple digits, guys. <gasps> oh, man. Wow. Does Grog look all bloody person. yet, or is you he? Guys, you guys watch as Grog's in there, his body shakes and shimmers, and you watch various veins that usually bulge in his rage and like the enhanced blood flow of his combat just burst in places, and blood just seems to spray out of him from multiple positions on his <laughs> body. And as they, you see the blood out leaking all over him, he's just covered in his own crimson. He slowly turns around, prepares himself for the next round of combat. That is some North Star shit. Yeah. Oh nice. my god. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Good deal. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> wow, distance doesn't help. Okay. Can you talk to him? Can you talk to him? I just look up, like, covered, like, Carrie <laughs> yeah. in the movie, just dripping in pig's blood. Never mind, you're doing great, Grog. Keep, keep going. <laughs> Sometimes and... music calms the savage beast. You could sing to him. <laughs> I would try intimidating presence, but he'll just shrug it off because he's amazing. <laughs> it's fine. It, it looks like he's gonna rally. Here yep. it comes. Yeah. I just take off straight for him. Okay, turn around. Oh my god. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45, 50. You just, just get up in melee with him. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> I am going to take all three attacks at Great Weapon Master at him. Oh Not reckless. Okay. Uh, go and make your attacks at disadvantage. Why? Why? Because I'm covered in blood? No, because t he used his pa patient defense. Patient defense. Essentially, with each oh, blow that you time. swing towards him, he's just prepared himself from a defensive position to prepare himself, and he's using your own momentum against you to sway every attack away from him. So that's, make all of your attacks at disadvantage. That's pretty smart. I threw that literally into the holder, <laughs> and it was on an edge. <laughs> Shit. That's a natural 20 that's going to be replaced by a... Oh, God! Uh, 23 minus five. So it'll be done. Nope. Yeah, great. So the first blow swings right. wide. He grabs the actual side of the hammer with both <gasps> hands and just <laughs> throws it off to the side. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. 31 minus 5, 26. Ooh. 26. He attempts to parry this one. However, your sheer force of strength managed to push past his grasp and you bring the hammer down towards his clavicle. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, thank God. I look at when I hit them. Um, that's 18, 28, plus enlarge, mm -hmm. which I've been forgetting. Oh, 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 20. 20. 20. 18 plus Alrighty. 10 because of your... 18 crit. plus 10 for Great Weapon Master, 28, 30. 30, you said 20. I said 20, I meant 30. It's 30. You meant 30. My apologies. Well, he is hitting me really, really hard. Yeah. And your brain is already so little. It's actually large, it just doesn't do much. Oh, well. And if you're using your bonus action, you can get one more strike in. I would like to. Go for it. It's mostly At disadvantage. Mostly just bacon fat. That's a one. <laughs> nope. So the second one does hit the clavicle, and it kind of cracks in, and you, you see a little bit of just blood kind of spill out the corner of his mouth down his chin. And he kind of looks up at you, and for a second there, the whites of his eyes seem to almost dim ever so slightly into a moment of humanity you haven't seen in him yet. Oh. He's been this godlike entity, and this is the first point where you see that pain show just a hint of any sort of weakening. Mm. And he kind of looks right up into you. Good, good. 
and as you go for your third strike, oh, he literally puts his hand out and <laughs> catches the hammer in place. Oh god, it's so awesome. And just holds <laughs> just holds it there as he stares at you. Oh god. Yeah. I'm checking your reflexes. <laughs> Good. I want you to know I'm not afraid to go down. That is the first lesson. Let's see if your words can be put into practice. Oh, for shit. his turn. <laughs> Good He's... night. No, no. We'll see you in the morning. Sleep well, friends. I hope you get a popcorn kernel in your teeth. This. <laughs> uh, he is going to, let's see. Go Cobra Kai on your ass. Cobra Kai. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Never dies. Put him in a body bag. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna go into a. Uh, Flurry of blows against you. Oh shit! That's a natural twenty. Oh, fuck! That is a eighteen. Yeah. That's a twenty-six. Look, they all hit. Yeah, those all hit. Okay, so the first one is uh, eighteen, reduced to half is nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, that is uh, a nine, reduced to half five. Okay. Uh, that is a twelve, reduced to six. Okay. And that is a 13 reduced to seven. Sweet. Real, real excited. And he's just going to go ahead and rotate around you to the opposite side. Um, as he turns around, <laughs> hitting you as he goes, <laughs> each hit. <laughs> he's, uh, I need you to go ahead and um, make a strength saving throw. Mm-hmm. You have advantage on these because you're raging. Right? Yeah, I do. But I still have minus two to him. This is true. Minus two? two? That's better. Twenty three minus two, twenty one. Twenty one. Okay, yeah. So the last blow as he comes around, <laughs> does a roundhouse kick and brings back and goes for a huge double fisted kind of earth side punch into your torso. Not the double. It's about to push you backward, but you dig in your feet and resist it and yeah. hold your place. <laughs> Just look who's catching who now. <laughs> Now it's your turn. <sighs> he didn't have a quit back for me? Okay. Um, right. I would like to turn so I'm facing you. Oh my God. Okay. I want to I wanna pick him up and try and body slap him. Okay. Go ahead and make an athletics check. Okay. 24. Uh, now that's a 30 acrobatics. You go to grab, and he steps back with his arms still crossed, (gasps) leaps onto your hands as you reach out for him, and just jumps in the air, looks down at you before he comes landing right on top of your hands, forcing your fists into the dirt. What's he gonna do for your next attack? I almost drop out of my rage because I'm like, that was that was a real dick move. Like, <laughs> it's just dunking He's on like me. He's like jumping and crossing his arms. He did, as the, he he did the Kill Bill yeah. like on my yeah. hands. <laughs> um, I want to try one more time. All right, roll yep. again. Twenty. You remember, you have advantage on these because because uh-huh. you're raging. That doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, that is a 24 acrobatic oh, so now, As you pull your hands up out of the dirt, reaching out for him with these giant Titan stone gauntlet encrusted fingers. And the sand burst that goes upward, you reach and find nothing but sand. And as the sand fades, he uses his, is this the end of your turn? Because you still have a bunch I still have the third one, yeah. Okay, so as the sand is still cascading down, you can see his shape through it. What are you doing with your third strike? Just want to try and grab a hold of the slippery bastard. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Uh, strength uh, advantage or just a natural roll? Uh, advantage on your athletics. Okay. God, it probably looks like he's running in circles. Uh, 26. He only rolled a 24. <gasps> With the sand there kind of coming down from the impact of you pulling your fists out, you reach out and finally they find purchase on the sides of his arms and in doing so, you, you pull him in and grasp him right to your chest. The hammer's still clutched in your right hand like and you watch as he gets pulled in now and uh, yeah, he, he is firmly in your grasp. He is currently grappled. Cool, I don't say anything. I'm just really stoked that I actually got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture! Whatever that is! Sir, draw, draw, quick, where is he? Is Should I flash him? Should I flash him? Do it, would it help? Couldn't uh, hurt. Couldn't I mean, hurt. You want to make this into a body slam? 
<laughs> Could I? Why well, not let you? Okay. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was thinking initially I'd like Maybe remove one of his yeah. five hits that he takes on me, but be consistent. Four. Who gives a shit? We'll say for the purpose of this, is you grab. Since your intent was the body slam, go ahead and roll an attack with disadvantage. Okay, attack with disadvantage. Great. Oh, regular attack. Uh, this is that your weapon bonus. Yeah. Right. I mean, one's as good as the other. It was minus three. Yeah. Uh, 22. 22. You grab him and you lift, and it's like he's anchored to the ground. He's much smaller than you, and you can lift things far larger and denser than him, but for some reason, he won't budge an what? inch. And just staring up at you with his arms pressed to his sides. Mm. I want to learn that trick. Well, I've still got him grappled at least. I want that. That's it. All right. Um, I like you'd have to be like crouched down in order to like be yeah. grappling it. Yeah. It's like the possum like trick. The just <laughs> Let's just assume that I like picked him up. I'm just holding him grappled. Or am I like squatting? And You're like grapple? squatting down and oh, grabbing yeah. him. You went to lift him up. Star bomb. <laughs> he wouldn't budge. Yeah. Hugging <laughs> Santa's little helper. As you're holding Kage, him, man. He's he not closes not going his anywhere. eyes. He closes his eyes. He closes his eyes. And you watch as this kind of warm, orangish white energy begins to just emanate from various parts of his body. Just here in the middle of the forehead, a little glimmer opens here, a little glimmer in the shoulder. Um, these various chakra points begin to glow. And you watch as many of the bruises and bludgeons that you put upon his no. body and cuts <gasps> begin to heal up. Oh. Shit. I want to be at level 20. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Four more years of this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he can't move. He's currently grappled. All right, so that's his turn. You go ahead. I still haven't grappled. I still haven't grappled. I still want to try to get him to the ground. I want to try and get him prone. Can I try a? Can I try a, 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 a leg wrap? So I'm going to wrap my right leg around his and dive forward, try, trying to push him off balance onto his back. Uh, I'll say go ahead and make another athletics check. Okay. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You got a twenty-one. <gasps> so we'll say for this, you go ahead. You'll be releasing the grapple, but you slam him onto the ground and make him prone. So you manage to just. Rip him off of whatever weird center of gravity he's forced himself into, lift him over your head, and just pile drive him into Great. the ground. <laughs> Once again, you see just sand and dust kick up, and there you see just these two legs sticking up as you've basically <laughs> planted him in the ground like a carrot. Um, and he is currently prone on the ground. Yes. Great. When he's prone, do I get advantage on attacks? Uh, when he is prone, uh, attack rolls against the creature have, yeah, you have advantage if you're within five feet. So Great. Yes, Great weapon master, dwarven thrower, but I say I want to know the answer to the Latin! Get up! Twenty-nine. Oh yeah. Minus five. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. That hits. Okay. Sweet. Get him, big man. Give him the chair. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty. Thirty. <laughs> 20, uh, 35. <laughs> 35. Plus the enlarged go. damage. I nice. real fast. Okay, so that's your second attack. Yeah. Wicker. Oh. It just goes over his head. Uh, 28 minus 5. 23. 23. 23 just hits. Yeah. Oh. 9. 24. 34. 38. 38. Ooh. Alrighty. So the after as you're shouting this, the first blow comes down. Whack! You're not even seeing him or seeing the impact. All you're seeing is sand and fury. The second and final blow you bring up, and as you bring it down, you feel something crack underneath. And you watch as as you pull the hammer up again, he pushes off, and he's gonna actually use it at the end of your turn. Uh, are you gonna move? <laughs> it's up to you. Are you gonna stay where you are? No, I would be right there, just in trance that he's actually in the ground. Okay. Yeah. So at the end of your turn, he's going to go ahead and use legendary action to attack you. I meant I run. It's a thirty. <laughs> so it hits you. It hits. All right, and that's uh, eighteen, half to nine. Take nine points of damage. Okay. Um, and I need you to make a another Constitution saving throw. Okay. Natural twenty. <gasps> 
Wow. Yeah. Okay. He, as you as you pull up from the hammer, you can see now there's quite a bit of blood now out of his mouth, and there's a part of the chest where it's kind of pushed in, and you can see there's where the impact has caused heavy bruising, and parts of the skin have just kind of broken open from impact. So now he's bleeding in places. You're bleeding all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's just this mess of two somewhat dressed humanoid men just covered in their own blood. It's and delightful. And blood and sand. It's amazing. Yeah, blood and sand. It's just, just encrusted everywhere. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Be careful. Um, let's hope blood diseases are transferred. <laughs> Very filthy. Be careful. Um, Sepsis. He <laughs> pushes off and manages to hit you in the sternum once again, the same place where the vibrations hit. However, this time you grab his hand as it gets there and it still hits you, but the gauntlets absorb the impact and prevent it from spreading through your body. Um, that ends your turn. It's now his turn. He stands up from prone. Damn, he did that to me on my turn. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Natural 20 on my turn okay. saved my life. <laughs> He's going to go ahead and hit you twice. <laughs> that is a uh, 18. Hits. And a. 20. So yeah, that yeah, that, that hits. So the first one, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. And you take 14, reduced to half, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, 15, 13 on my constitution 13. saving 13. Um, what was the damage? Oh, sorry. Seven. 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 Um, you feel your muscles lock up once more oh, as no. you're stunned now. Awesome. That allows the sex, since you are stunned, uh, attacks against you have advantage. And you are incapacitated, so hits that are next to you are technically all crits. Oh, fuck! No! So the next hit yes. against you is six plus eight. Can I smile before he hits me? Sure, you go. <clears throat> so he feels your body locks up. The next hit, whack, goes right into the same place where he keeps hitting you in the sternum. Oh. You can feel the bruising. Now you hear the crack inward as you feel the rib cage, the, uh, uh, the cartilage there pop inward. That's the second hit. Um, he goes in for two more strikes. Now as you're stunned, the next one, the third one, uh, that's going to be a 27. That is eight plus eight. That's uh, you take eight damage because it's half. So okay. eight, eight bludgeoning damage. And his final hit, uh, that is going to be yeah, it's like a 30. Um, that is going to be a six, 12, 20. Reduced to 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Cool, great. Still standing. Um, wow. He is. My math is probably wrong, but I'm getting down there. <laughs> okay. He's going to stand right there. He Good is. Turn. Yep. Oh my god! What are you gonna do? Did he just stand there and he had a turn? Yeah. He just went. He just he he got up from prone. It's half his movement, and he's not gonna move. Around you, he's staying right where he is. What are you doing? Show him what you've learned. <laughs> None of us know what you learned, though. We can't help you. I feel like he's doing that patient defense thing again. Ah. Uh... Yeah, um, fuck it. I'm gonna go for broke, because we're pretty close anyway. I'm gonna make all three attacks. Oh my god! Reckless, great weapon master. <sighs> okay, go for it. Tripling down on the barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any better. I don't know. Well, no, I'm... actually, you're stunned this turn. Oh! I just remembered that. Oh! So fuck. you grin, and then ugh, your body just won't respond. Is there a small fart at least? <laughs> it's about that. Yep. Yep. It's not even like something to be proud of. It's just a little squeaker. Well, you just, <laughs> did you just poop your pants? You turtle a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little turtle head poking out. <laughs> okay. So I'm stunned. And I'm stunned. Until the end of the turn. Your turn. And turn ends. Oh. At the end of your turn, he's going to use one of his listener reactions to use like the wind. He gets to move his speed without attacks opportunity. What does he want from you? All right. For you to show him what you learned. He what just he learn? zips back and is on the opposite it's side and just goes. Cool. I look back 
and do this. Ooh. Oh. He learned to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's your turn? Yeah. Okay. He begins to rotate. Over there. And that's his turn. <laughs> You're gonna heal it. Just, everyone is doing their Keanu impressions. <laughs> I have no healing anything. Awesome. I do a uh, short rest, but that's it. All right. Ooh, uh, take one. I need heal. <laughs> How far can I throw this fucking thing? <laughs> Long range is 60 feet. The long range of 60 feet means that it would be like a disadvantage throw? Correct. That's not great. Short range is 20? Yeah. Just get up within 20 feet of him. Yeah, let's be honest. Uh, with 50, could I get to him in 50 feet? You want to try? Yeah, I'd like to try. Get Five, get 10, get 15, get 15, get 15, get 15, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. You just barely get up to him. God, I just want to keep staring back at him, but I, I don't. I, there's no point to it. I, I, I don't. I don't. I can't do anything. It's not like I can psych him out or. Tell him what you learned. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Vague words of encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going for broke again. Reckless. Great weapon master. All three. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have disadvantage on them because of his patient defense. So they're just straight rolls. Spatial, patient defense. Patient defense. Yes. Also known as spatial defense in the barbarian world. Totally. Natural twenty. Ooh. Okay. Just two more of those, please. So I double the damage die, or I roll two more damage dies after this. 12, 17, 27, 30, 31. Are you supposed to roll tens or twelves? Tens for the hammer. 31, 39, 9, 42. 42 points of damage on the first one. Okay. Second one. Second attack. That's a 31 minus 5, 26. 26 hits. 7, 22, 32, 35. 35 points of damage? Yep. Last one. Last attack. Because uh, I'm buying a ticket <laughs> to the no pants dance after this. <laughs> 20. What? 22. 22, no. <gasps> so as you. Oh, rush, no, no, that's not minus five. Yeah, it is minus five. Yeah, it is yeah. minus five. So you go bounding up towards him. <laughs> as you sit there waiting, his arms up. The first strike, he goes to parry, but as you hit, his arm gets knocked out of the way. Preventing him from parrying the second strike as it comes down right across the side of the face. Yes. Hitting him, you watch blood across the sand, and he, you see his jaws kind of momentarily dislodged, his beard just kind of crusted in his own blood. As you come up with a giant over the head blow, and as it comes down, he slaps it from both sides and stops it mid action. You see his hand shaking as he's holding it, and he just kind of looks up in your face. Good. Good. You keep saying that. <laughs> That was so metal. It's now his turn. Mm -hmm. As he throws the hammer back over your head, which puts you off balance, he's going to go into first two strikes. Um, the first one is a 21 to hit. Yes, I believe that hits. That is going to be uh, 10, reduced to five. Okay. Second one, uh, ooh. No, that, no, no, wait, that's on the first one, I need you to make another constitution saving throw. Okay, same damage? Same damage, yeah. Okay. But he's going to go. 23. 23. No, 21. 21, that's right. Yeah, so he managed to resist uh, the effect of the stunning strike. He's going to go for the secondary attack. Okay. Which uh, was 7 plus 13, that's 20. So that still hits you. Yeah. You take 18, reduce that to 9. <laughs> Make another constitution saving throw. Cool. <laughs> we in the single digits, kids. Cool. 22 minus 2 is 20. 20, you just barely shrug off the effect of the, of the stunning strike. Um, he is going to go in for his flurry of blows because he knows you're on the edge. He knows you're on the edge. Just four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a natural 20. <gasps> just no. That is 16 plus 8. That is 24 points of damage reduced to half to 12. 
I am unconscious, but I use my relentless rage. Oh, right. Oh shit. You okay. Back. Which I forgot about it's that. a flurry of blows, and he only did it on the first one. <laughs> so I'm like. <laughs> Shit. Well, you need to make a constitution saving throw. I do, yes. A DC of 10. I do. Come on. Come on. If I can't make a DC of 10, I just don't yeah. Go, Billy! Uh, 21. Yeah. Okay, so the the third hit, the, the first couple just kind of loosen you up. Pop, oh, pop. This is going to get interesting. Actually. The third hit, he leaps in the air, kind of Choi style. Whack! And hits you right square in the face. Superman punch! Up in the air and you kind of pull back as you feel your vision kind of begin to darken. And then you feel that surge of white hot rage in the back of your skull bring you back and you pull back up as he lands and you watch his expression goes and he darts downward and goes for a low to high ground uppercut. Dragon punch style. Look out, Guile. Look out. That's gonna, oh, that's an 18 plus 13, that's a 31. Oh. You take uh, nine points reduced to five. <laughs> so, <laughs> hits you right underneath the chin. Now However, make... I use my Relentless Rage, what? now at a DC 15. Correct. What? Oh, shit! Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come, 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 system. Come, come on, come Call on. out a squeaker, Travis, come on. 27. Oh. 27. <laughs> As it knocks you into the air, almost onto your feet, but you manage to catch yourself and uh, right back up as he lands. Oh. Turns around, looks at you, and goes, "Good." I, I see what you've learned. <laughs> it's your turn. It's my turn. It's your turn. Kill him, all three reckless great weapon master, <laughs> chewing my tongue off while I do it. Go for it. <laughs> Show me what you want. Oh, Twenty-five. Twenty-nine minus five. Twenty-four. 24 hits? Yep. Oh, so man. the first one is 23, 33, 34. 34 points of damage, first one. Okay. Second one, nine. Damn it. Mm. Uh, 25. 25. Now a bit of minus five, so that's 20. 20. This is so the, fir the first one hits, whack! It hits him in the side of the head. The other side, it writes his jaw strangely, oh. but knocks him down onto three. Uh, three points. He has, is down on his hand and his two knees in the ground. His other arm still up, clenched in a fist. He's breathing heavily. Like he's on the he's on the edge. Second strike. You go to you go to swing down, and he rolls out of the way. <laughs> it hits the ground with no effect. You're going for your third and final strike. Yeah, yeah. Go for Come it. On. Come on. That's pretty good. That's a thirty minus five is twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Roll damage. Oh. Come on. Fuck you, Master Splinter. Oh. <laughs> 18, uh, plus five. Oh man, back. Oh, I know. Just, I've, yeah, I haven't forgotten it now. 20, on the 23, wall, 33, out. 37. Okay, how do you want to do this? First one hits, second one he rolls out of the way and you pull back. Right. I reach back with the third one and I go. Who's good now? <laughs> you knock, you guys watch as you knock him clean 15 feet in the air from the blast of the blow. He ends up landing on top and the outside yes. of the arena. <laughs> <laughs> landing strewn across the steps that lead to the edge of the sand pit. And there's just quiet in the chamber. As he stands there breathing heavily, covered in blood, there's spatters of blood all across the sand. And Grun's just lying there, unconscious, breathing. We're just screaming our asses. You guys are yelling. We're running down. Yeah. Running down. Wait, 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 wait. Stay there. At this point, there, because there's the, the opening at the top of the temple. Right. Um, there's a rumbling sound, eh? I'm up above. And there's a small spark of energy that up above streaks down and hits Groon. <gasps> like a very faint lightning bolt, just out of the sky. And Groon rises up on the side, his eyes just vibrant, bright, almost glowing. He stands back up. <coughs> and then he's still covered in his own blood. He's wrecked. You can see uh, pieces. Parts of his body where the muscle is swollen. Uh, one arm appears to be just almost ruined. 
but he lands right in front of you. A little bit of pee comes out. Uh-huh. <laughs> but everybody's peeing. Yeah. Join the party. <laughs> You've learned much. And court smiles upon you. As you look up and you hear the roiling again. <laughs> and two bolts come streaking out of the top of the temple down towards Grog and slamming into what you think your body would instinctually like pull down and, and hunker as, as an animal in a thunderstorm would, but you feel the warmth as your gauntlets all of a sudden flash with electrical energy and you look down as the the all the runes and the sides and the chains are now glowing with divine energy. <laughs> You're a magician. Awesome. As the Roiling kind of comes to a close. You hear the of thunder begin to subside, and you feel the kind of the smell of burnt uh, sky and ozone around you begin to subside. Still looking down at the energy pulsing through the gauntlets, uh, Gruen is still there, standing, kind of looking up at you, and just goes, "Continue with your journey," and just kind of just looks at you, waiting for some sort of response. Uh, I'll walk over to him. A bow, and then I'll reach out one of the Titan Stone knuckles. Cord strength to you. Slams and pulls you in, and with an intensity, you feel his fingers crack. Even though these newly imbued gauntlets, there you won't feel the tension as his grip is still strange. You 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 expect they could be powerful enough to crush the gauntlet with his bare fingers. He just pulls you in from your giant form down. The strength is immense. And, ugh, kind of pulled down into his form. He looks you straight up, face to face, but an inch away. What have you learned? That <clears throat> without the love of my friends, life has no meaning, and I would be nothing. And how will you utilize this knowledge? I will make their strength mine, and my strength their own. And in turn, I will try to make the world a better place than I found it. His grip pulls off, and he withdraws his arm and releases you back to your full standing pose. Now at your enlarged form, Gargantuan in the center of this temple space, his once in very intimidating form, diminutive by comparison to Grog's full structure, looks up and nods. I thank you. I mean, I really, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone that far in a battle before. Like, I didn't even know that was that was possible. This was incredible. I'm talking a lot, aren't I? Yeah, I have a bit yes. of a man crush. Yes, you will. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. And I turn and I walk back to my friends. As you make your way back, Groon steps and leaps back out onto the opposite side. And you can see up on the platform on the opposite end of the, uh, the sand pit, there is uh, a uh, silver somewhat tarnished, but still functional bell. And he walks over to the side of it, grabs the rope, and just <laughs> And you watch as all the different corners, the empty temple, all the priests of Kor begin to wander back in, who had exited previously, as was the request, it seems, of Earthbreaker Groon, knowing that you were coming. They all just silently enter, and kind of nod and bow in your direction as you make your way towards your friends. You acknowledge it, but it doesn't slow you, it doesn't stop you. There's still your focus. And you guys watch as Grog approaches, bloodied, beaten, barely conscious, one eye is like the lid is kind of drooping a bit. And even though he's strong in his stride, there's still a shake with his knees, but he doesn't show that weakness. He keeps pushing towards you with a slight smile through his bearded face. Guys, <clears throat> if we could just look Make our way out of here in as cool a way as possible. <laughs> if I fall, just pick me up like weekend at Bernie's, okay? Pike stands next to him and says, don't worry, you won't fall, and she casts um, 
cure whatever. If I can heal cure. <laughs> Cure, cure things. Cure you, things. You have the spell. No, 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 I gave it back to Ashley. No, I mean, Vex, Vex has yeah, the spell. Hey, cure, okay, but she can do it better than Vex can. You have the spell. Level, Level skin. Level four, cure things. Cure sure. Bullshit. I rolled it for you. Uh, so you, you heal eight hit points. Uh, eight hit points. That way you're standing and you have to wobble back in nine. Really with back Let's get you some ale, big man. You so, earned it. That sounds great. Grog. Yeah. Right, I got struck by lightning, you I guys. Mean, it's it. Wait, wait, nice. look at your gauntlets. What? They're glowing. Oh shit, they are. Is that what they do? What do you mean? Do? Like all the time? What? <laughs> Piece of paper. Just for clarification, that all took place in Super Nintendo graphics, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Sixteen bit. As we uh, as we walk out, Kayla throws a little gust cantrip to like kick up the dust behind us, so it just Ooh. looks really like <sighs> dusty and epic as we Make walk off exit. into the sunset. As you guys walk off, the silhouetted most of Vox Machina with one giant grog form stepping yeah. through. You exit the trial forge <laughs> into the rest of Baslehan. <laughs> wow. We'll go ahead and take a break there. What does it do? Uh, and it's exalted for my strength now becomes 26. Oh, oh gosh. So my plus God. eight, right? Yeah. Wow. And uh, when, I, when I use enlarge now, uh. I gain resistance to fire, cold, <gasps> lightning for oh, 10 minutes. Oh, shit. Imagine if we Man. had done that before we went for the dragons. Before the dragons. Hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good Never will we see fire, fire and cold and lightning. You barely eked really out that victory. Oh, anyway. Wait, and double damage. Fire and double what? damage. Wait, what? Cold. And cold. And cold. And cold. And lightning, minutes. fire, and cold, and double damage. Yeah. So and even double more damage. Stuff. Well, no, double damage. Well, double damage is on objects and structures. Yeah. Well, he's, he's, he had that previously. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But that's a lot of resistance oh, to a lot of things. Yeah. And twenty-six mm. is. It's a disgusting that's, that's number. That's really strong. Disgusting number. Wait, sounds good. It's two more than what you had. So everything goes up plus one damage to hit. Damn. My, my armor does that too, but it only makes me smell bad. It doesn't affect my skin. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break, hit the restroom, get some snacks, wow. and we'll be back here in a few minutes. Thank you again. Uh, see you in a second. Double dragon. Really already like Tonight on American History History. The year, 1942. I decided to go with a secret weapon designed by one of our top men. My stepdad said I could make a robot. A giant robot? What have I done? Tabletop day! Just direct your Twitch to Geek and Sundry! All around the world we'll get people to play! And play and play and play and play! We're celebrating game designers and the players! Cards and dice and role playing slayers! Teams or co of whatever your flavor! Scream and shout and respect your neighbors! So let's join forces all for one and one for all! If you love games, come on! You guys okay? April 29th is tabletop day. Hello all. I am Darren DePaul and I'm here to tell y'all my boosts are a ball. And why would you fall for my boasts of my boosts all a ball? Because they are juicy like a really good orange. Everyone loves a really good orange, except for me. I do not like oranges. Too juicy. Get out of here and never come back. I am from theater.
Enough of my citrus bass reverie and theatrical yelling. Watch me now on Signal Boost!
tonight on American History Mysteries. The year, 1942. I decided to go with a secret weapon designed by one of our top men. My stepdad said I could make a robot. A giant robot? What have I done? My boosts are a ball. And why would you fall for my boasts of my boosts all a ball? Because they are juicy, like a really good orange. Everyone loves a really good orange. Except for me, I do not like oranges. Too juicy. Get out of here and never come back. I am from theater. Enough of my citrus-based reverie and theatrical yelling. Watch me now on Signal Boost!
Tonight on American History Mysteries. The year 1942. I decided to go with a secret weapon designed by one of our top men. My stepdad said I could make a robot. Giant robot? What have I done? My boosts are a ball. And why would you fall for my boasts of my boosts? All a ball? Because they are juicy. Like a really good orange. Everyone loves a really good orange. Except for me. I do not like oranges. Too juicy. Get out of here and never come back! I am from theater! Enough of my citrus-based reverie and theatrical yelling. Watch me now on Signal Boost! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Critical Role. <laughs> so, uh, picking up where we left off, uh, Vox Machina is now exiting the Trial Forge into the Braving Grounds Grog with the recently so reinforced uh, Titan Stone Gauntlets by the Strength of Cord. Through your duel with Earthbreaker Groon. Yeah. What do they do, Grog? What do they do? I, 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 I don't know. You know what? We'll probably have to fight somebody to find out. Let's find the first person outside of here. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay. Sure, to wonder. Well, maybe we can find an old building and you can just destroy <laughs> no, it. it. <laughs> old woman. <laughs> Red mist. Small <laughs> one. <laughs> That's how Ron was beaten oh, to death shit. with a purse. Uh, you he's core, technically like, one point. He may go down. Yeah. <laughs> An old lady trying to cross the street takes out Krog. Nine hit points. Nine nine hit points. Uh, he did just take down an old man, so our streak against the elderly is going strong. <laughs> <laughs> you have the hit points of a kitten right now. I'd, I'd, oh, right. Well, I do. I am fond of cats. Um, <laughs> I feel like. I'm pretty sure kittens have less hit points than that. Yeah, like five. Mm. Right? Five. five. I've, 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 I would have had level one characters with less hit points mm. than a kitten, and that would be the saddest thing ever. Five. <laughs> kittens, like, we, we, we worked it out we at one point. We, we did do the math at one point. Five is way too many. At no, level like, one, you can have five hit points as a person. And it's like two hit points. It's going to be a very tough one. kitten. I mean, if you're a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> What we're saying is, kitten is the baseline hit point counter in Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Yep. Yes. Can we count hit points in kitten strength by, by, for now? All right, I'm using like three hit dice. I'm at uh, like jewels, I'm at twelve kittens. Jewels, assholes, <laughs> kittens. Yeah. Oh. That's what the air machines run on. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Thanks for not jumping in during that. That was like, it was very personal. That was really Anytime, hard to Anytime, you're very welcome. Yeah, thank for you. For a second there, Grog, for a second. What? Well, for you a couple missed. seconds. Well, no, I did. Did you not see? I missed it. it. Your back was turned for so much of the time. It was amazing. Encore. No. <laughs> but I mean, we're outside. All right. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so sad Scanlon wasn't here for this. So. I know, he would have loved that. Yeah. Seriously. I feel like we should go celebrate and drink. 
but it wouldn't feel right without him. No, I need like a million um, potions and maybe <laughs> some attractive naked women to like heal me back to my full health. It has right. been a while for you, hasn't it, Grog? Yeah, Potion yeah, time. I'm real cranky, so like <laughs> I need bandages and maybe some bondage and just oh. all the women. Bandages Those things go together. <laughs> Good. That's great. Yeah, that's like a B and B, right? Yeah, oh. that's exactly what B and B means. <laughs> Dot com. If that's, if that's what the letters for those words are. <laughs> How long has Scanlan been out for? Uh, at this point in time, Scanlan's been out for, I'd say, almost a day. Gosh. I'd like to go get him, but I really want him to wake up of his own accord. I mean, we could try and head back to Whitestone and get Grog. Healed up and check in on Scanlan. I think that'd be good. We could take a Maybe night. Maybe get some potions before we head out here because everyone's low. I'll just yeah. start by the store and pick up some health potions. There for are nice before. stores here. We haven't even like it's proper true. shopped in a while. It's true. Vasselheim hasn't like been touched, right? Yeah, it's good. From what you know in the Conclave, no. I mean, we've got fucking <laughs> shit to Bless. sell Sorry. and stuff to buy, but that's kind of a thing. Well, we can. Plus, at some point, we should check out the stuff we got out of that den where Rush are. I figured we, we should that definitely do the research. Yes, book I mean, we need to look at. Scanlan's yeah. sleeping it off. I mean, we're in Vasselheim. We just bounced across miles and miles. We're here. Yeah. <laughs> sleeping it off? I know. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just sitting here. No big deal. I'm having a great dream. <laughs> I wonder what Scanlan would say if he were here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Back and get me! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. No. He's asleep. Yeah, yeah very funny. asleep. Just Just plan. Shit. Do quick shopping and then head home and look at all the things. Buying of potions, I say. I just want to get some stuff. Make an investigation check. <clears throat> I should have shaken that, so yep. just, yeah. 14! Okay. Um, <laughs> with a cursory glance of the very the area of the cross, of uh, the quad roads that you previously went to for um, you know, the acquiring of various tonics and salves and, and, and healing liquids, um, you do find a, a new, a, a nice establishment that's just recently been built. Um, and as you enter to check in, the gentleman at the front looks up at you, and is a familiar looking. He goes, uh, "Could I help you with?" It? No, you're not welcome. Leave now, out, please. And these two bouncers kind of step out. Are you the cart guy? The fucking who? Please, no, not her. Please. I didn't abuse him. Everyone else abused him. I was very kind to you. Did no business is welcome here. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yeah, Excuse okay. me. Uh, has anyone seen my friend Vic? You. You. Beautiful salesman, carrier of all delightful things. See, we're friends. We're all friends here. What, was he uncomfortable seeing you or something? Yeah, he said he didn't like me very much. I can't, can't imagine, imagine why. why. What do you want from me? Just some potions. You don't have many. What you got? We can do business, we cannot. All right, I'll, I'll just stand next to him while you do business. You're not me. welcome in my establishment. I'm really hard of hearing. Like, I've been working. With... I can yell. Wait, can you understand? Could you understand that? No, it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just muffled. It's just muffled for him. <clears throat> well, our stock's been running low since last time you came through. We don't have much. Puts up a small leather case. It's it such it a shame. Did you tell him already that we have like a whole kingdom's worth of jewelry and like gold to spend? Yeah, I'm blah, really blah, tired blah. of carrying it. <laughs> it is so unfortunate. You know, the saviors of Amon, the saviors of the world, really, and he doesn't even care. I thought I'd like lighten this backpack a little. <laughs> I really don't care. Hmm. I have four healing potions and one greater. That is all I have. Huh, that's it? That's it. Do you want it? No? Then good day. No, no, we. You know what? I don't like him. I don't even want to buy it from him. You, you Perfect. go ahead. You go ahead and leave. No, God, um, please don't, 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 don't shop without gonna, me. Don't I'm shop I'm without me. I'm gonna yell at him really loud. No, I'm, I'm standing here. I can't, I can't, I can't let you do this. Could you, please, just escort them out of the? Place? No, no, we'll take it. We'll take it. How much? 
for the four healing, healing potions and the one greater. 1,500 gold pieces. Cool. I, I don't know, me personally, <laughs> if that is a good amount, is, but Vex would know. Is that a good amount or is that a shit amount? Based on your previous dealings with this individual, the fact that you're getting a price at all, yeah, is good. But it's not a good. But it's price. not a good market price. But it's also a buyer's market right now. I know how to do this. I will take a bag of gold no, and I pour grog, it grog. onto the desk. Just a pile of gold. Grog, right? do not do this, please, please, please. Fifteen hundred gold pieces. Didn't you? Um, I just scoop it back into your little. I hold out your pouch. Do you know Rock. what healing potions are? What? Huh? He's just putting it back in the leather case. Hmm. I don't want. I don't want his healing potions. I think those aren't even real healing potions. I think those are probably like water colored. I mean, probably yes. To be you're right. They have you are. They are colored liquid of no particular worth. They you're right. Leave. Be gone. Every time. But we didn't. We, we, Grog, please. Bex, we are so rich. I lean in the door and say, you've been in there long enough to pay rent. What is going on? Bex, will you come in here a minute? Ah, uh, yeah. Will you please tell your sister that we have enough money to fund several, um, like, townships and that this guy wants 1,500 gold for four healing potions, we have almost And done. a greater healing potion. Is she being a pain in Five the ass? Five healing potions, yeah, I mean, really. Come on, man. We're not begging in Stilburn. Will you give the guy some fucking coins so we can get the fuck out of here? Yeah, but this guy's mean. My time is valuable. Will you pay him so we can go, please? You're also royalty. You should show peasants like how to act, you know, step off a lip. I'm so glad I'm out in this room. <laughs> That's true. My time is valuable. That was lean. I am a lady. I know, I know. And ladies treat much and swell. <laughs> and they don't hold grudges, I hear, because they're ladies and they're above it. So here, take this 1500 gold. I'm going to count it out for you, Grog. It's below him. It's beneath him to count this gold. He's also a lord. There you are. Come on, Grand Poobah. All he hears is fart noises, and I grab her by the mouth and I drag her out the door. Oh my god. He hands the potions over to Grog. Very well, enjoy your day. And, um, I'd be wary of keeping her as your uh, business contact. She's a bit abrasive. Yeah, I notice. You've moved up in the world. This is really nice. I'm sharing it with a few folks. It's sort of a partnership, but yes. Is it working out for you? Well, I've had to hire bodyguards, if that's any indication. <laughs> If I wanted, if I wanted your name, look, if I wanted to call on you later, because it seems like, uh, as far back as I can remember, we've run into you quite a bit. I'm, I'm like no, kind of fond times, of this. Just a couple times. Yeah. Do you have a name? Cedric Gilsman. Oh, I, that's the I will best not guy. remember that. Um, <laughs> cool. It's the guy. The Cedric, by the way, got. do you have any like um, oh, like, like limited exclusive oh, items that are like top shelf, right? Oh. Like your most elite. <laughs> Paying customers only. Um, Did you say I, only? I generally just run in the realm of healing balms and salves. Right. My partner does a bit more than that, but he's out currently picking up a shipment and will be back in a few days. Where's the shipment then. from? Are you there? Who are Did you? He come out? <laughs> I thought he came out. No. Yeah, no. You walked in the door, Sorry. Yes. Who's it? Where, where's, the window. where's he getting his shipment from? Do you trust your partner? This where's he guy? I do, and I don't trust you enough to tell you this information. I'll give him ten gold for the information. Thank you. That is very generous. I don't know. Oh. And he gives the ten gold back. Oh. That was, no. I thank you for your time. Poobah out, and I leave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, I know that was hard for you. He Grog. was very apologetic. Was he? Yep. He was. Yep. Grog, he took advantage of you before, and no, I don't I like didn't. that. No, look, his hands were on that side of the counter the whole time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, all right then. Yeah. Here, they, these are for you. Thanks, darling. Which yeah. one do you want? No, I don't want any. I need. No, you. I need more of the hands-on healing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I cast kill wounds on him. 
Level four, bitch! All right, four, wow. 48. <laughs> 48. 48 plus your wisdom modifier. What does that it's like mean? you gave him an ice cream. He's just going to be running around on sugar mm. high for the rest of the day. Mm. <laughs> Never going to burn that off. Yeah, the Mickey, Mace, the Mickey Mouse shaped ones. Oh, God. Those are great. 22. 31 oh. hit points. So oh. who needs the greater? I'm all right. Give it to others. I mean, we could take a short rest and let me heal well, up for a second. Should... Once we land somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going home, right? You want to rest yeah. in the tavern? Well, I mean, maybe we didn't. Hour? You need to go somewhere. Oh, see. Mm. Great. Uh, right, thank you. And then I pass out the other healing potions. Between. Where I have to go is a little more involved. Oh. Yeah. Are you gonna slide by the temple? I scoop you by the arm and take you off for a minute. Um, you know, I want to come back here sometime. Uh, one, I would love to go to the Velvet Cabaret again. You know, just like a date night. Oh, that was great. Yeah. That yeah, was but fun. without somebody oh trying gosh, to kill us. Oh my gosh, that was before we were together. That was good times. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go back without somebody trying to murder any of us, though. Right, man. Yeah. Uh, that aside. Yeah. yeah I yeah. I do have to go to the temple, but I don't want to go. Why are you in. saying it like you have to go to the toilet? Because <laughs> that's kind of what it's like. Does it feel like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there is another shoe that's going to drop probably eventually. We should what? probably pass that, I think. Do you? I want to get back to. <laughs> His Percy walks Does, by. No, I don't walk by. I just I'm amazed that no one remembers that we can hear everything over these earpieces. No, you have to be touching. No, you have to yeah, be yeah, like. Yeah. I've been listening in. No, you have to <laughs> hit send, my friend. You have to hit send. Uh, <laughs> with cell phones. I can listen and see. Him. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Her other shoe is going to drop eventually, and I'm not I'm not ready for that. What, what are you afraid of? What do you think she's going to ask of you? I don't know. You think she's going to cash in on that bargain? Why wouldn't she? I thought you already were considered paid up in a way. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Sure. But I. I feel like being a, a little selfish and taking a little time, and when she wants me, because she's not talking to me at the moment, when she wants me, she'll call. So I'd like a little time. Do you, okay, what are you asking of me right now? Just to come back down the road. Later? Yeah. Do you want to go now? No. While we're here? No. You're sure? Very sure. I mean, okay, so what, just getting this straight, what you're proposing is a, Raven Queen slash Velvet Date Night <laughs> visit back to Vasselheim? Well, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, you go to church and then we go to the casino? <laughs> I'd probably do it the other way around. Sure. Because I don't know what's going to happen at the church. I'm talking months, unless she <laughs> rings, okay? I just want to spend some time with you, you know, before I have to do whatever the fuck she wants. She's going to collect. Mm -hmm. My sister is is walking around and breathing. Still. Okay. Shocking as that is. I mean, the fact that any of us are still doing that is impressive at this point. Anyway. Okay, so that'll be. Um, I'll. Mm, that's a good date night to look forward to. Let's uh, go <laughs> home, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Let's at least go see if um, little lover boy is walking up. Yeah. Wait. We've got our potions. <laughs> Way down the line. Way down the line. Sure. Are you sure you don't want to just hop in the Raven Spa tonight? <laughs> hey, Keelan. Oh. Jesus. Sorry, I just finished oh, buying those you... potions. Yeah. So, do you want to? Do you want to get back okay? to Whitestone? You're a little. You look a little sweaty. <gasps> No, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> that little fine. That little vein on the you side. You know what? Of the We've made a lot of money. The Julia and... Roberts vein. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> who? Don't worry about I really do get that Maybe vein now. I really do. But no, I'm okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Except Scanlan's still unconscious. So maybe we should go see if he's all right. You're right. You're right. All right. Let's go. Let's all go. Right. Everything's fine here too, by the way. Good, good. Oh, wait, you guys didn't seem fine. awkward at all. No, we're while not I walked awkward. Up. How do we Maybe get we back? Go. Yeah. Uh, a tree, a tree. Can you still do a tree stride? I can do a tree. A we gotta tree. leave the city, though, right? Out of respect. No, I don't think we have to. Oh. Druid magic's different. It's huh? not like, it's not like showy These wizard magic. These rules confuse me, but okay. <laughs> 
like the wizard magic is like Broadway musicals. Yeah, it's like jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, natural and magic. druid magic yes. is like it's just modern dance. Community theater. Yes, Breaking yes. in theater. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if wizardry is is Bob Fosse, <laughs> druidism is Twyla Tharp. There you go. You know? Wow, we went there. That was good. I might know my modern choreographers, okay? <laughs> Let's go back to Whitestone. Yeah. Alrighty, so you find your way back to the uh, the abundant terrace where you find a similar sized tree to what you arrived in. Mm. Uh, using transport via plants, you transport yourself back to Whitestone, stepping out of the sun tree. Uh, make your way where else you would like to within Whitestone. It does not make that sound, if that's what <laughs> you are trying to do. It does not sound like that. Like Trees. a little That fart. is not canon. <laughs> that is not canon. I'm pretty Trees sure don't fart out here. <laughs> Trees don't, Trees don't fart, they poot, okay? I just said, start heading towards She's, the castle. It's the Arashari, man. <laughs> I start Suddenly. heading towards the castle. Okay. Okay. On the way there, I ask Percy, 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 like that I, ghost. I, know, I know the city's like it being rebuilt and everything, yes. but do you think there will ever be like a pleasure hall or a house of, you know, bosoms or, you know, I mean, I just want to put out like a couple of ideas as like a city bound up. Of course it has one. Do I happen to know where it is or do I not? I mean, it hasn't been. Nope, yeah, it's really pretty empty functional right now. for a while. I feel I like it this. would be the sort of thing that would have just existed for fuck all ever. No, no, it, no. It, yeah. It, it, yeah, I mean, the, the uh, Whitestone has has had. Uh, there's generally there were two brothels. One was destroyed in the uh, uh, in the the Briarwoods run. Is um, one called the House of Bosoms? Better be. Uh, well, it's as like as one of the porno. titled masters of Whitestone, it could very well in the near future. Just tell me so I can add it to the campaign guide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Better. In, international house. Of yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you. With all the flags. On it. Oh wow. Would I, would I possibly and know six this? Six different syrups to choose from in each room. <laughs> oh, the silver dollar. I don't know if I would know this. Uh, you know, what? make a history check. A history check. <laughs> That's so mm. truck. Okay. Uh, a natural twenty. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a natural twenty with my history is a poor check. Is a, <laughs> it's a thirty. Like That's a thirty. Percy, like, knows, You've never knows. been to it, but you recall one of your older brothers who is of age. Mm. Um, we were asking a question about. Did it. return and tell stories of a house of, uh, of flesh and pleasure. Thank mm. God. Um, you don't recall its name, but you know that it existed somewhere on the western side of the city, and within a short period of time, you could lead him to it. Okay. <laughs> And also that they serve a pancake. With, <laughs> with, There's a pancake brunch. With like smiley chocolate, ch chocolate chips and a smiley face. <laughs> the ancient Sumerians. I'm honestly not. I'm honestly not sure, not sure Grog. I would really have to think about it. I don't. I don't know if such a thing exists. But well, I'm just saying, look, you know, if you need to lean on me to develop that sort of the economy again, I'm here for you, buddy. That's good to know. Okay. That's good to know. Excellent. Let's go find Skedlin. <laughs> I wonder if he's awake. Search yet. for him wherever he might be. <laughs> oh, I think strapped up and covered in mayonnaise. Pudding, pudding, pudding. So you guys um, find your way back to Castle Whitestone, upwards to Scanlan's room. The door is partially ajar. On the inside, you see uh, Kaylee is actually asleep. She's sitting on a stool next to the bed, and she is her head's kind of down, and she's very lightly snoring. And there in the bed. Uh, as you left him is Scanlan. His arms are still up. Well, he's been they've been he's been turned. Okay. We, we've had people taking care of that. Jeez. Is Kaylee like sitting in the chair like now, or is she leaning back? Related. No, she's leaning back in a chair and has passed out. Can Scanlan is still on the bed. Can I please not? Legs like seven in the chair children in this family. Now. I think they're used to some some tomfoolery. It's up to you, Grog. Yeah, I walk over and I just kick the back leg of the chair out so she falls down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, these chairs are so old. Are you all right? Oh, I'm going to remember that. All right, man. You speed back my nuts later, sorry. There we go. How are you doing, you Katie? Oh, she looks groggy and slightly hungover and is like, all right. So, you've all come back? He isn't really doing nothing. And she kind of smacks him on the side of the face and wipes some of the pudding off. Um, you hear just ever so faintly as you kind of 
are coming out of your stupor, you hear the <clears throat> what sounds like voices muffled, and it comes to it, you hear it sounds like Grog, and then it sounds like Kaylee, and then something <clears throat> hits you in the cheek, and you feel a slight tinge of pain, like a like a flick, but your eyes begin to blink, and you guys watch as Scanlan begins to stir. How long has he been like this? Why is he covered Who did this to him? Oh, I have no God. idea. He let, takes a little bit of the gunk off and, what is it? Gross. It's, it's like a vanilla custard. Thank God. That's custard? fucking foul, Caliph. <laughs> Look, how do you think druids discover things, okay? Someone has to figure out what's poison sour. and what's not. They lick them, apparently. apparently. Mm. It's a little sour. Mm. Ugh. This is yeah. funny. It's this tough. is Hello. funny. Hello. Hello. This is you. Hello. Hello. You guys hear Scanlan Hello. talking. Let's go. Scanlan. Hi. <gasps> hey, buddy. Welcome back. How are you feeling? Uh, where, where am I? You missed all the fun. What's going on? Where am I? Use the afterlife, Scanlan. <laughs> You've gone to the good place. Your hands are bound up over your head <laughs> currently, <laughs> um, and you are dressed in a nightgown, and your room and yourself are there's spatters of pudding oh. everywhere. What's going on? Why am I like this? Where am I? You don't remember? No. Is the dragon alive? No, you killed it. And then we all celebrated, and you had a big orgy. Yeah, you mm -hmm. proposed to this woman downstairs, and this mm -hmm. is your bachelor party. Yeah, you clearly have some very intense dreams, Scanlan. I feel like you're fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear Kelly's voice to the left. He goes, oh, you think that? Probably right, true. What are you doing here? Well, apparently, your friends brought me along to make sure that you woke up nice and right. They brought you here? Aye. Where are we? Are we in Whitestone? Yeah. We're in Whitestone. Yeah. And the dragon is very dead. Very, very dead. But you are not. And that's very important. Kaylee, could you excuse us a moment? Aye, but. At the very least, and she reaches over and undoes the bindings on your wrists. <laughs> your fingers are a little numb. Um, she, you, kind of, you pull it back and you kind of rub them instinctually. And she goes, Don't take too long. I've got mine to speak to you in a minute. Kaylee. Yay. Thank you. Sure. She just kind of storms past and pushes a little gnome figure, kind of pushing through the crowd of Vox Machina and out of the room. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. I fell again. Um, can someone answer me one thing, though? Who who got Kaylee? Who brought Kaylee here? Best Sit did. Down on the bed with you. But it just seemed like the logical thing to do, dear. Why the fuck would you do that? Right. Well. You see I promised her I wasn't going to die, and you showed her my dead body. You thought that was a good idea? What? You'd rather she just discover it on her own? No, I'd this rather she, she had... never know. Scanlan, she came here. She helped bring you back. You know what that means, right? Yes, I do, unfortunately. You think it's bad that she cares about you? I think it's bad that she thinks that I'm an oath breaker that I am weak, that I failed in my promise to her. Scanlan. That everything she thought of me when she found me is confirmed now, that I can't be trusted and I can't protect her. Scanlan. She thought nothing of you when you met her, all right? The fact that she showed up here and saw that you gave your life for a greater cause, that's so much more important than any any promise you made. I hope that's true. I think it is. She didn't run away. Well, and after the fact, she stayed here and looked after you? You should have heard her play. I did. I think. I heard music. I heard Pike. Wait. You heard? I heard voices, I heard Pike saying a poem, and I heard someone playing music. Uh, it was 
Was that it? Yes. All oh, your <coughs> daughter knows <laughs> is that you stood against great evil overtaking an entire continent. That's nothing to sneeze at, Scanlan. She also knows that I fell and that my friends thought it would be funny to put me in a fucking nightgown and spread pudding all over me. That was me. And bring my, my lifeless body and show her how weak her father is. That's what she saw. She I, made, I made a promise and I broke it and you proved it to her. And I wish you hadn't meddled in my affairs. I don't have, I don't have many things that I care about. And I don't have anything that cares about me. That's a lie. That is bullshit. That's it's definitely full untrue. bullshit. What? You think you care about me? Yeah. Yes, asshole, yes. Yes, I'm sorry, you're right. You like me because I make jokes and I play songs and I give you a warm place to stay at night and I feed you fucking chicken and I heal you in battle. But you don't really care about me, come on. Let's be honest with each other. You don't really give a shit about I've me, I've changed you? my outlook on life because of you. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course we all love you. You could crush me Prove it. in a second. Prove it. How? What do you want us to do? We traveled into the fucking Nine Hells to get Pike a suit of armor. We went and battled a city of vampires so Percy could feel good about his name. We fought Goliaths for Grog. We've traveled across planes of existence so you could fix your fucking daddy issues. But you've never done anything for me, ever. You've never risked anything. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. What's my mother's name? What's her name? Easy question. Died in front of me, killed by a goblin. Biggest part of my life. What's her name? My father, is he alive or dead? How old am I? Where's my fucking dog? You we don't care about dog. me. We did get your dog. Did you? No, we didn't. I've, no, we did, I searched. No, I've asked you your age. I thought I did the magic search. No. Fucking hell. It's fine. What's I'm just I'm just a little hungover for being dead, and I just have been thinking for a while that, you know, Grog has Pike, Vax has Keyleth, Percy has Vex, but Scanlan has no one, and I had one chance at one real relationship with my daughter, and I feel like you gone and fucked it up too because you don't really know me and you don't really know what my relationship is with her or what I promised her or anything really. And it's fine. When I met you all, I was just, I was just a, a funny little man playing songs and that's all I'll ever really be. And that's okay, because I can take care of myself. You don't oh. have to, Scanlan. Nobody knew that any of this was going on. How many times have we asked you if you're all right and you just laugh and joke? We can't help you if you don't tell us what's going on. I don't need your help. Well, apparently you do, darling. Well, I don't like that very much at all. Get used to it. No. Nobody likes needing someone. Scanlan, do you think any of us could have gotten here without each other? I thought you knew that more than the rest of us. I, maybe we just thought you didn't need us as much as you felt like we didn't. I thought you were the only one who had everything figured out. I did too. Well, then I must be a very good liar. You are. You are. I thought for months. What haven't I got figured out that Scanlan has got figured out? 
I've been trapped in the mud for months. Wondering what I could do to get where you are. Scanlan, you fucking saved the world with us. And if your daughter can't see that, then she can't see anything. Yeah, if you really respected me, you wouldn't pick me up like some sort of dwarf and pick me up and put me down and take off your fucking armor and treat me like a fucking child. You've thrown some of us like baseballs. I don't know what that is. Scanlan, do you wish we wouldn't have brought you back? Should we not have done that? I just wish you wouldn't have brought her into this. Scanlan, I had one shot with her, and now how will I ever show her that I can be trusted? How will I ever show her that I well, can protect her? Well, maybe you should her? fucking talk to her. Yeah, you think you you are a better father than most of us have ever had. You're right, I should, I should talk to her. You should. I should, I should. Don't and treat I her will. like a fucking sacred object, treat her like a daughter, Fine. Scanlan. You're right, I will. I will. I'll talk to her. Listen, I don't know what adventure we're going on next but I think you should go without me. Really? Vex is right, I should talk to her, I should be here for her. I don't know why I wasn't with her in the first place. I didn't need to go with you to s kill the dragons. I should have just been with her in the first place. I was probably just scared to. I should just be her father and stay. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. No, I will not go whoring with you one more time. No, I was gonna ask you what your mother's name is. Miss Juniper. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Thank you for asking. Is your father still alive? I don't really know. He makes things, made things, I don't know. His name is Vikul. I'm glad you're back. Whatever you want to do now that you are, it's up to you, mate. I'm sorry if we had selfish intentions. We did. I'm selfish. It... Well, yeah, what well, Grog knows what I'm trying to say. We you didn't are... think about those things. We didn't. We thought about what you meant to us. It may not feel like much to, to us, it feels like a bit. But now that you're here. And Scanlan, as, as much as you can say that you were just the funny guy who played music and made jokes. I don't think you realize how desperately we need that. Uh, that's nothing, that's nothing to scoff at. That's not a talent that many of us naturally possess. You've taught me so much about the brightness of the world and to look at the light side, side of things. I guess it's just Easier to laugh at the world when you don't care about it. But that's not true, you do care. I know. That's why he's an asshole now. <laughs> We've never had one conversation, you and I, about my mother. Where my sister and I came from. Did you know Thordak killed her? I think that's come up. We've never talked about it, not once because I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't push into your private life. If you wanted to talk to me, and you did about your daughter, we did, we talked in the sewers of Western about your daughter, because you wanted to talk about her. We love you, Scanlan, and if you want to talk about your mother or your father, we will. You have not been exactly forthcoming. That's fair, I haven't been. But I also don't, I don't have anyone, I don't. 
I, uh, I have to take care of myself. That's all. We have survived a fucking hellscape, all of us. I didn't. You are standing before me, talking to me. You did. I did not. I died this, that's twice. That's fucking semantics. In a row. Short halt. You've been brought back. You're standing here. Your daughter is there and needs you. I'm being kept alive by some fucked up weird magic. Before I met you people, I, I would have never... The worst I would have gotten in is a bar fight. And I would have won. Because I would have been a liar and a cheater. And now I, I... I didn't help you, any of you in the last fight. I didn't do anything. The fight before that, I didn't do anything. What about the I'm useless. before that? No, you're not. I'm... I'm... No, I I'm mean... out of my league. I'm out of my league. Listen, it was fun. It's fun. It really <clears throat> has been fun to travel with... with six legends. It's fun. <sighs> It's fun to say that your friends are legendary fighters. It, it's fun. Ex excuse me. Speaking as someone who has been fucking depressed for a long time, look me in the eye. I was shit for months. And you're one of the main reasons I am out of that now. We would be dead, all of us if it weren't for you. The first time we fought Raishan, we would all be dead. You are in a pity party right now, and I know you're hurting, and I'm sorry you're hurting, and I love you, but you are lying to yourself that you've been of no use to us. You are lying to yourself. If you want to retire, if you want to go off with your daughter, that's fucking wonderful. I encourage you to do it, but don't lie to yourself. Well, that's just it. I'm a really good liar. It's coming. Just give me some time. Hey, hey guys. We're friends, right? Are we friends? Worse. Family. Family. <laughs> That's fair. And for fuck's sake, sir, I will say I died in that fight too. It's not fun, is it? No. And let me tell you something. Is whatever lie you were trying to feed your daughter out there about the man she thought you might be that you just thought you could tell her and then she would walk away and never actually meet you or get to know you so that maybe she would never see what a shit you can be. And you can be a shit. <sighs> that fucking girl out there is a shit too. She's a miserable, lying shit. Mm -hmm. And for fuck's sake, the thing that brought her back here was the things about you that you don't like about yourself, and don't think that they don't count either. You're a shitty person, we know. That's not the fucking point. The point is for just one moment. One moment. Once in a blue bloody moon. <sighs> you come through in a way that others can't. And you do it, and we love you for it, and you are worthwhile. There's a reason we just nearly went mad trying to bring you back. And it was not pity. And we didn't bring here, we brought her here so that maybe she would snap you out of wherever the fuck you were going to. And I know you're not out of there yet. I've been where you are and I know it's shit. And I would really recommend as somebody who misses an awful lot of people, that you are honest with that girl and maybe discover that she actually likes you as a person. 
because you are actually likable as a person I know it's coming out of my mouth. I can feel the shit from it, but it's true. <laughs> For fuck's sake, get to know her and stop making false promises that you can protect her and you'll always be there because you can't and you won't. No one can and you're fucking lying and it's sick. Be a man. Be a man. I've seen you be a man. I know you can fucking do it. And when you're done with that, and we will leave you with that fucking shit girl, I would like you to look up my parents' name. You can find it on every fifth hallway in this fucking city. And I'm out. Leave the room. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, as you push the door open, it's still partially ajar, and as you Pushed open, leaning against the wall just by the door is Kaylee, and you can see she has tears streaming down her face. I give her a big hug, a kiss on the forehead. She doesn't let you. As soon as you go for her, she just kind of smacks it away, turns into the room, and just walks past everyone and grabs her bag off the ground, slings it over her shoulder, grabs her violin case. So you coming? Yeah. Grab your things. Be waiting for you downstairs. And she walks out. Really? Just like that? I have to. Where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna be a short halt for a while. And I'm just gonna figure out what that means. And it's great being part of a team, but you got to know who you are first. So I got to go figure that out, and I got to go figure out what what she is too. And when I do, I'll come back and find you. And if you really need a place to stay, I advise you to buy some, some tents, because <laughs> you won't have a mansion anymore. I know you'll be fine, because you all have each other. But for now, I just have to have me for a while. I love you all. I even love Percy and his parents, Frederick and Johanna. <laughs> and I'll go with Kaylee. Wait. I reach in a bag of holding and I grab my salt lick rock. I toss it to Scanlon. What's this? It's yours now. When you miss us, I know you will. Give it a lick. All right, I will. <laughs> you got the the gate stone off the end table where we left it with him, and hand it over to you as well. You'll need this. I'd rather it go to you. When Vex tries to give you something, you take it. <laughs> All right. Don't die. Scanlan. We'll miss you. I hope so. And Well, you said I was right. Let's pick up that conversation later. I'll go out the door. Okay. As he walks down the hall, you hear his feet 
across the stonework, echo quieter and quieter until you can't hear it anymore. You all stand in stunned silence in the chamber. Fuck. Just pick up a pillow on the bed and throw it at the door. <laughs> it opens slightly. The pillow lays in the ground. It's mattered with vanilla pudding. Did he take all of his things with him? Uh, I would say he would have grabbed his things as he left, yeah. Well, that didn't go like I thought it would. No. No, it didn't. Kind of wish we would have gone drinking in Vasselheim now. We might have missed him if we had. We saved the continent. Why does everything feel like shit? He's alive. That's what really matters. But he's our liar, Grog. And he hates us now. He doesn't hate us. <laughs> I just think we've all just discovered that maybe we have a lot more secrets about ourselves than we've all ever let on. He needs time. We have that. Fuck him. Fuck him for not saying anything sooner. I don't know. And fuck us for not asking. I think Percy is right. We're worse than friends, we're family. And family leaves. Yes, they do. Can we not be family? Can we, like, redact that? I don't think so, I think it's too late. <sighs> I step out into the hallway. Do I see Percy at all? I'm around the corner, up on the. Uh, I'm. <sighs> yeah, you I'm can. outside. I'm, uh, if you if you went far enough, you'd see me. But. You eventually find Percy. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Rough one, Matt. Question. Yeah. Do you have any like sneaky people in your employ here at the castle? Of course. Wouldn't you feel better if we had someone just? Keeping an eye on them. A bit explosive, the two of them together. I'm torn. I don't know if you'd like that. I don't know if I care. <laughs> I don't know if I do either. I keep thinking I could just shout right now and. Half a dozen guards would stop them. Yeah. There'd be a half a dozen dead guards, though. Yeah, well, it's half a dozen dead guards these days. Good point. This tale of a brothel on the west end of Whitestone, I don't know if it still exists, but I'm sure if you go drinking in that area, you might find something. Sorry. No, yeah, yeah. I, uh. I'll go give it a look. When you're in the mood. That was good. <laughs> yeah, um. I'll, I'll be back after nightfall. I'm gonna go out for a bit. Grog. Yeah. I know we don't always agree, and I know that I can be unkind, but you know your family, right? I'd 
don't know much, but I do know that. It's nice having an older brother again. I leave. So what, just the half-elves are left alone? In, in a room covered in pudding? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically. Right, the pain is <laughs> Crying. Yeah, crying in your pudding Angry. room. I think crying in your pudding is actually a British saying. Yeah. Do you there. think if we would have not covered the room in pudding that he would have stayed? <laughs> <laughs> I start cleaning it up. Well, he seemed pretty pissed that I went and got Kaylee, even though we ran away with her at the first chance he had. And you had to stay in a shitty B and B brothel. And Pike is still kind of shaking her fist in the corner right now. She hasn't said anything in this whole exchange. She's a bitch. Pike, are you okay? How you doing, Pickle? All right, Pike. Right. He needs to do this. Right, he needs to do this. He says he does. What do we need to do? I have no fucking clue. I need to get a drink. Yeah, we could always go back to Baselheim and pick up on that whole drinking. I don't want to go anywhere, Keely. Yeah. I don't want to go back to Baselheim. I mean, we can drink anywhere. Vasselheim doesn't have to be in that equation. Where else do we have to go? Well, I away from here. I just want to be away from here. Pike. I have to go to the water, Ashari. I have to. And before too long, we have a demon who wants you and I dead. In the night, we have to deal with it. All right. Anything else? Pike, you know the Osmet Sea? You've sailed it, yeah? It's been a while, but yeah. Might need you for the water, Ashari. Can do that. But it seems like I guess all of us are picking up on our own individual paths from here. I guess. Why can't we still help each other out? We can, of course we can. Pike. His path is his own. He has to do his thing alone. We don't have to be alone. No. No, we don't. We just want to slow things down for a while. It's been a long couple of months. I mean, is, is Ganlin right? Have we become too close to each other? Do we need to... All take our individual time, like we've done in the past. We just not need to not have our lives on the line every day for a little while, or ever. Retirement's not a terrible idea. I mean, what's the takeaway here? from Scanlan. Can't hold anything in. Fuck, um... You know that I've always looked up to you for everything. That I've tried to model myself after you. Do you know that? And you. You know that she's my best friend, right? You know that. You know that I am madly in love with her, right? You know that, right? We don't need to, to joke about it or, or dance around it anymore. You know that I'm in love with her, right? Obviously. Obviously. What are you getting at, Vex? I just don't... He left because he felt like we didn't know him. I'm scared to death about what I have to give to a fucking god eventually. I'm scared of that. I don't want to do that, but it's going to happen, and it's destiny. I'm scared about that. There, that's out. Do you have anything that you are holding in? You're in love with Percival. We all know that, right? It's plain as day, right? My takeaway from Scan is that we all talk too much, and I leave the room. And then 
I look at Vax and Percy and say, I'm not Percy. I'm sorry, Vax and Pike. Pike and say, and my takeaway is that maybe we were forgetting who we were before we all banded together. And then I leave the room. They're all individually going to the room next door. Right? Yeah, they're all just all <laughs> congregating <laughs> in the next chamber. <laughs> it's like a black mirror. <laughs> exactly. Smiling in and then like everyone's reading highlights. <laughs> Crack out the aerator, yo. I will. <laughs> black light. <laughs> it's the basement in Westworld. We all just go. Pike kind of walks up to you in the room and just kind of puts her gauntleted hand on your shoulder and just says. I make mistakes. I make them a lot. Yeah. You got a lot of other people to look up to aside from just me. I've learned that. Um, his path is his own. And he'll come back, right? I don't know. But he's our friend. I like having him around. Me too. Let's get a drink. What? Let's get a drink. Let's get a drink. You want to go in town? Yeah. All right. I chase down Vex, and we do the same thing. <laughs> you guys all individually find your way through the rest of the afternoon to discuss, cope with, and ruminate on the separation of Scanlan. Um, going through all the different emotions you feel that are necessary, and whatever activities you proceed to distract yourself with, Grog. Um, <laughs> crying in a corner. <laughs> yeah. Crying on bosoms. <laughs> I'll pay for this. <laughs> yes, you will. Uh, That's extra. Yeah. <laughs> What's going? Uh, and strangely, not uncommon. Oh, he's wrapping up the show. I can tell. Oh, I came to give him. He's, he's, he's not actually. Not. I don't know where you got that idea. He's getting in a mid-game hug. Right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys still got shit to do. Uh, okay, yeah, no, no, you guys made no, no, okay, stop it. Yeah, you guys made promises. You you're still on a timeline for some things. Huh? Yeah. You still, have, you still have things to do. No, we know. We know. We know. <laughs> Don't take that as Sam closing the curtain here. I still got shit to do. I know, but I craved that, so I took it. No, that's okay. Yeah. Cross table hugs are fine. Okay. That was weird. The next morning comes around. Oh You're all in various states of hungover, should you have chose to imbibe with the rest of the party. Heavily. Uh, Grog eventually wanders in, uh, less hungover, but more meek about how his previous day was. Not my best night. I see, I see Vax the next morning, and I say, look, your sister gave me one of her blue feathers. It's because this is the darkest timeline. <laughs> uh, I come back and I, Take that off. I'm like, no, Keith. Oh, you took that from me when you were drunk last night. Actually, it's because this is the darkest timeline, <laughs> and I stole it from you. Mike and I come in wear, uh, wearing fun buns, hungover. <laughs> <laughs> My face hurts. How is everyone? She slaps you. Uh. Amazing. Does it still hurt? Yeah, and also my face hurts as well. Good. Mm. Percy. Who said that? Good morning. What did you do last night? I worked. You worked? I did. 
You were productive. Well. You made the rest of us look and feel like shit. I think we all have our ways of coping. What did you make? <laughs> oh, just some sketches, nothing. Did you bake a cake? <laughs> didn't bake a cake. I hope you baked a cake. There's no cake. I really want coffee cake right now, Percy. <laughs> There are people for that. You look like me. Squeeze, squeeze, <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. You squeeze, look like squeeze. me. Why do you look like squeeze, me? What are you doing? We're still drunk, <laughs> sober up. It's a new day. That's boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> he could have broken his nose just then. I swear. Binder rings are important. Oh too. my god! Is it a new day? It is. It is. I thought it was still yesterday. Oh mm-hmm. hey, I've got all my hit dice back. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, spells are back, you guys are healed. Hey. Yeah, my staff is charged. <laughs> You're up from nine points. Yeah. Hey, wake up. Fuck. Wake up. It's a new day. Don't Open your down. eyes. Hey. Pike has restoration on <laughs> Vax. Hey, you're not drunk anymore. Look at that. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what? The first step is the first most important one, right? Well,. As far as I know, we have three things still on our plate. Which ones? We've got a hand. Hortus. We've got some Ashari. Yes. And we've got a demon. Now we also have research we have to look at that we got from that there. And we have a What's giant pile of things. We have things. to give Ripley's hand to those guys in Marquette. Oh. I think that's the easy one. That seems like the quickest. That's yeah. definitely the quickest. Oh. Let's try that. My mental acuity is on point. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I teleport, I'm going to puke. Ah. Uh, Drink this. Pike grabs a bucket. Drink this. <laughs> <laughs> I run to the kitchen. I put together something that is not quite, but probably a hot sauce. Yeah. Okay. With half a raw egg and a shot of something that is quite possibly, but not quite, some sort of fantasy variance of tequila. Yeah. You are not Swill it all up. frat boy no, this shotting is, me this. Is not a, this is a thing. He's, that's science, <laughs> listen to Percy, that. that's science. Oh, you need that, and you need a traditional white stone breakfast. He gives you everything. There you Super go. good, Keyleth, yeah. really. Just, just get it down, just get it down. This. Just don't look at it. Just, just listen to the science guy and chug a lug. Bottoms up. Yeah, yeah we need you. I, wasn't, I was kidding, you shouldn't actually drink that. Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> Can I get a roll damage? Sorry. <laughs> I've done something very similar to that on many a morning. Mm. Oh. We need to look at this research. We need to figure out what Raishan had going on. My brain hurts from crying so much yesterday. I know, are my eyes puffy? Yes. Do I have bags under my, thank you. You're welcome. All right. You wear it well. So what's the plan, what's up first? Let's take a quick look at what we have, that, what we got from the cave. Maybe bring Alora and Gilmore in here because we have that book that seemed very nefarious. I help Percy figure things out. Okay. Uh, I mean, from the things that you gathered off, a lot of them were, uh, uh, candle holders, mostly built candles. There were uh, uh, various reagents, some that were rotted or dried out. Um, a number of books and tomes, some that deal with poisons, uh, various alchemy. Actually, a similar book to one that you found earlier in your yeah. travels, but an older version of it. Um, and there is the one large tome that you acquired uh, that had the more nefarious looking leather bound exterior. The thicker piece. I'll read this. No, don't touch it, Grog. I don't trust it. Oh, okay. I want a Laura Gilmore to look at it first. The easiest person to find here would probably be uh, Alora within oh. the castle. I'll have a sense. Well, no, because Alora is off in Iman oh, helping with the construction, right. so Gilmore would be the only one you could really speak right. to currently. Or Eskil. Or Eskil, <laughs> but he's. He's a little wary of you at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> well I just keep making people wary of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you go ahead and you you bring Gilmore in. Yeah. Okay, it's easy enough to bring in. He's kind of waking up. <sighs> so, what can I help you with? Hi. We found this. The, hmm. Be careful. It was with Raishon. He takes. He sits down, kind of places it on his lap, and kind of tugs on his uh, braided goatee. This is. Uh, this smells like shit. <laughs> Oof. Several things have died on top of it. I give my armor a sniff. 
Oh, smells okay. different kind of shit, but shit kind of shit, yeah. Um Took He takes a look over it. Uh, this has a very faint magical essence to it. Uh, let me go ahead and he looks over it. For a second, his eyes kind of glow with that same uh, kind of arcane purplish energy that kind of flares when he does identify spell. Looks over it. This is this is a very this is an evil book. <laughs> <laughs> Reading this would be informative, but would certainly have a cost. Oh, like money. Uh, soul money. Ooh. Soul money. Do we have any of that in the bank? I Not don't much. think we do. Mm. Not S- anymore. Soul Wouldn't money. recommend it, Grog. What do you recommend we do with this book? Um, well, if you ever feel like you want some light reading, or find somebody who's foolish enough to read it, or at least has the, uh, the willpower to push through its dark enchantments, I have no idea. Oh, shit. Wow. Well. Wow. Let's just keep that in a, in a, I'm going to vault that for the moment. Yeah. So you're saying somebody could read it, but they'd have to make it all the way through the end. Well, I I don't want to look into it. I'll put it at that point. Uh, but somebody with a strong enough mental aptitude to be able to not not be corrupted by its dark magics. Mm. Not anyone, my recommendation. Not anyone least. in this room is what he's saying. Right. <sighs> what else we got? I say hand. It's simple, to the point. I agree. I agree. I agree. It's fine. One and done. we Drop can find the Ashari on the way back. <clears throat> we can. Yes. All right. This feels wrong. It feels different. Ah, it feels wrong. It's not on us, though. It's on him. Can you scry? Me? Yeah. See yeah. where he is? What's he doing? I pull out the scrying eye. Can I kind of, I hold it out in front, this kind of flavor, and I let it levitate in front. It locks itself in place and slowly rotates. Can I kind of open it like a little, like a fortune teller's spying sphere type of crystal? And just like project it on the wall, like behind mm, her? The vision so that comes we can to you. It, it's n- movie. it doesn't quite do that. Yeah, the vision comes to you. That would be really awesome. Can I make it sad. IMAX? <laughs> <laughs> I want the HD glasses. download, not the <laughs> SD. 5.1 Dolby Whoa. Digital. Oh, wow. It's all around me. <laughs> oh my god, so many lagging issues. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. To see if he you don't know. senses it. So what, what's your wisdom modifier? Me. Or your wisdom, constant, your wisdom saving throw? Negative two? <laughs> really? Clear. Wait, what did you it's roll? Your, uh, oh, you mean, what did I, uh, it's What'd two. you roll? I got a two total. But I get advantage against <laughs> magic. You do. That's a 17. Plus your, your what's your wisdom saving throw bonus? Uh, I mean, it was that's nineteen. My wisdom is negative. Two. Oh, minus two. <laughs> gotcha. And your spell DC wow. is. Oh, is I'm spying on those bitches. Okay, <laughs> so you you get a you get a brief view yeah, of what looks to be Scanlan wearing his regular outfit and armor now, um, walking. He took his armor off. He's just no, regular he w- clothes. He walked out in a fucking. He walked out in a nightgown. Oh, right. Through this whole yeah. emotional circumstance, he was in a oh. nightgown. Um, but he is currently, uh, he's walking through the parchwood forest that surrounds Whitestone. He is on the path south. Um, south from Whitestone? Yeah, south from Whitestone. Him, him and to his left is Kaylee, and they're both with their sacks over their shoulders, and they're just hiking through the forest. They're, at the moment, not talking, but they're both slightly smiling, just kind of enjoying the journey and the company. And you just watch them walk for a little bit through the thick tree canopy above the well-worn path that heads south and out of the Parchwin. He looks content, happy even. That's good. Yeah, good on him. <laughs> <laughs> Can you 
yell at him. I feel like he, he's like flicking off a bunch of trees now. I don't know. He was always an odd one. To be fair, he did that yeah. about seven times a day. He did. For yeah. no reason. I never just knew his animosity towards trees. You never know. I don't just, know. Just, 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 just in case. Just really hates oaks. Raven <laughs> Queen, demons, you no. don't know, looking over your shoulder. <laughs> <sighs> we should have just invited Kaylee to come with us. They, 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 could they, have they, don't, they don't want that. They I want have a feeling there's little chance we could talk them out of it. Well, all right, he's living a nice, happy, content, low-key life now. Let's yeah, so continue on. Yeah, and why shouldn't he? He earned it. Yeah, yeah he did. He earned it. <coughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, right. He saved the world. What more can we ask no. of anybody? Let's go. What plays the brain better than travel? Than right. so, or sex? That was... Or, that's or, a, wait, yeah. stop, stop. You, I was about to say you sounded very wise. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Just period. Period. Travel and sex. Yep. Done. You know, there's... There's merit to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> As we head to the um, the tree, I pull Grog aside, and I ask him, "Are you all right, Grog? I mean, I know, I know you got your lady favors out of the way and all that, but Scannon was your bestie, right? Outside of Pike. Yeah, I'm just bummed, cause like, I'm glad he's alive. I mean, oh, I think yeah. that's what keeps this from being terrible, but like, I only trust like a few people in the world. Right. Like you, Scanlan and Pike, and now it's just you and Pike. Me and Pike? No, I mean, I trust the others, right? But like, I know you on a more intimate level. Because you, you know? saw my titties. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Um, that's literally it. I don't think I've ever had like, an intimate conversation. <laughs> Right. That's all. I just, <laughs> I just feel, you know, a little more <laughs> sad on the inside, but I'm all right. I'm sorry, Grog. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad he's okay. Show him your tongue. Do you, do you, do you want to see him? What makes you feel better? No, it's not right right now. Yeah, no, yeah. it didn't feel <laughs> right. I just wanted to. to <laughs> all right. Yeah, you know, it's, mm, you know. All right. <laughs> I appreciate the offer. As you walk your way down to the center of Whitestone to the Sun Tree. It's so touching and ridiculous. I know. <laughs> um, you recall that in the center of the city itself on Corral, uh, as it acts as one of the largest oasis in the center of the Marquette, Central Marquette Desert, uh, there were a number of larger trees um, of various types, and there was one not too far from the Sun Cup Bazaar. Uh, that you recall. You make that your designated tree, and upon casting the spell, you watch the sun tree uh, tear open the doorway, and you step across. As I cast the spell, I'll just say, hey, sun tree, watch over Scanlan and Kaylee, okay? And then go through. You step through. Okay. Um, you all emerge on the outskirts of the Sun Cup Bazaar. Um, it is, l at this point in time, there, it would be the beginning of, like just past dusk, the sun has gone down in Ankarel, uh, but you can still see the oranges and reds and purples of the recent sunset in the distance. Um, the city is bustling, lanterns are alight all throughout the bazaar itself and all the various multicolored towers and structures and buildings of the beautiful city just uh, stretch up in all directions around you. Uh, you can see the bazaar itself is lively with uh, carts that are open, shouting as various barkers are peddling their wares. Um, it's a very upbeat atmosphere and one that's a stark change to the white stone you just stepped away from. And the sun's going down, you said. The sun has already gone down. After we just woke up. Yes. Oh, Jet lag. Fucked is, up. Yeah. Fucked other part of the world. <laughs> Jet lag. Yeah. Tree lag. Tree lag. lag. It's a bitch. Yeah, it's the worst. Tree lag. Um, you guys begin making your way towards the um, the Death's Respite, which is the tavern that housed the Scar Bearers. This is where Treve Bonebreaker was when you last discussed the return of Ridley's hand right. uh, as the assassin that killed one of their own. 
and you were returning this hand to absolve yourselves of implication in this murder. <laughs> yes. Since you discovered the body. I'm, Thanks. for the record, Pressure. not wearing the <laughs> yeah. cloak when we do this. Okay. <laughs> hey. hey. Good point. And, yeah. and, and just for the record, because I know I'll get yelled at for Twitter on this, I have informed my sister where I'm going and what's going on. That they're not just going willy nilly. Right, right. Cassandra is away. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys walk, walk through. Um, you catch a few eyes as you are not just outsiders walking through Ankarel, but you're all adorned in you know, beautiful artifact armor. Oh, right, we didn't put magical on our weapons. Godware. Godware, essentially. Godware. Uh, and as you walk towards the, um, uh, the Death's Respite Tavern on the outside, you can see there is what looks to be an eight and a half foot tall humanoid golem-like metallic Construct. It looks similar to a uh, a golem, but it's smaller, like the iron golems you fought before, but like, it's smaller in scale. Like the one we fought in uh, and Jaman's? It, yeah, and uh, also, but, but much smaller. Um, it uh, it's less bulky and it's more just like a functional, tall, m- metallic, humanoid type construct. Protocol droid. <gasps> yeah, you see, it's clutching. It's basically, the vision. Uh, a little, a little more ramshackle <laughs> and okay. construct. It is clutching a leather tome in one hand that is open, and is holding what looks to be a quill in the other, and is just standing there quietly. Um, to the front of it, you see, uh, almost waiting outside the tavern in the process of thumbing through some uh, satchels, you see a handsome human male, uh, late thirties or so, with shoulder length, feathered. Dirty blonde hair and blue green eyes, a well groomed goatee adorning his dashing smirk as he turns and looks across you. And very quickly, the eyes kind of very overtly take in and categorize your decor, your dress, your stature, and the smile grows even wider. Um, his Have frame it. is felt, his, he's adorned in a set of polished, immaculate breastplate armor with these numerous satchels kind of all around him. And he carries a silver helmet under his arm that shines with many, many embedded gems, diamonds, opals, just an opulent looking figure who is wearing what looks to be barely used or at least very well kept armor and jewelry and adornments. Um, immediately catches their attention. You there! You lot! Hello! Wow, wow! Who are you all? Look at this, magical items from head to toe. Why, I've never seen anything quite like it. Pouring it on a little thick, friend, what's up? Doty, come here, will you? Take this down. <laughs> and he watches the, the giant construct, takes a few steps forward, and begins writing into the book. In my travels through. <laughs> it's a Kleenex, it doesn't work! <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> God damn it! I couldn't have been more Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to throw something hard at him! Holy shit! Oh, fucking shit. hell! Shit! Doki! Doki, take this down. In my travels through Ankarel, I have never seen so many magical items in one place, but then I saw them walking up to me, and I knew I had met some very special people. That's it for now. I'm being nervous. Uh, hello! Just get very nervous. Nice right. to meet you all. The name is Terrian Darrington. <laughs> Terrian Darrington? Terrian Darrington. Darrington. My, friends, my friends just call me Terry. And uh, Terry I'm a bit of an adventurer. Uh, I've been traveling around this continent for a while, trying to tick off things off of my list. And I've. Uh, <laughs> Had a few scraps and scrapes, and uh, I'm looking for more adventure. I was traveling with a band of ne'er do wells that I had hired, and well, let's just say many of them were killed. <laughs> so I was looking to employ a, a ragtag group of people, elves, whatever you are, <laughs> to uh, accompany me, sort of be my uh, sidemen, if you will. Oh. How much would a band like you cost for a day? 50,000 gold. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Would you? Uh, an hour. I'm, I'm sorry. 50,000 gold an hour. Yeah, that's like, like our retainer fee. Good thinking. Uh, well, I 
tend to employ people on the month-by-month -month basis, and you get a cut of the uh, treasure as we go, of course. We can work out the particulars, but are you, in fact, guns and... or not guns, <laughs> swords for hire? Why are you going after treasure? I'm going after many things. I have a long list of things that I want to tick off. Are you famous? Of course I am. You haven't heard of... Uh, well, you haven't heard of me yet, <laughs> because my book hasn't come out yet. <laughs> Doty here is recording my legendary adventures as I travel around the continents. How thick is the book? Uh, it's pretty thick. Uh, make a perception check. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's a pretty thick book, um, but it looks like uh, Dodie is maybe a third into it. A fourth. <laughs> Lots of uh, scribbles in that book. Yes, I haven't settled on a title yet. It will either be uh, 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 Terry's Terry's Adventures. It's sort of lame, sort of lame. Or, or it could be Daring Adventures of Darrington. Or uh, it could be Terry on with Terrian, or mm -hmm. something like that. I'm working on the title. I have a while to uh, finish the, it. The daring trials and tribulations of Terry Darrington. That's fantastic, Dodie. Please write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were special when I ran into you all. My hey, uh, goodness, buddy boy. We have to go to the Nine Hells uh, in the not too distant future. Are you down for that? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> hold on. Let me check my list. That is on the list. It was lower down, but uh, <laughs> I, you know, it's it's another thing I have to tick off before I'm a real adventurer. So uh, I'm I'm up for anything if you are. Hmm. Wow. I mm. do not mm. like you. This fucking <laughs> asshole. Am I right? This I, fucking asshole. Can I insult check asshole? <laughs> yes, you may. Can I insult check asshole? Oh, this willing accomplice, hey. motherfucker. I know. Hey. Shit, both of you. You are all pieces so of shit. Everything right now. Does it make any sense? Weird. New, right new, new dad is wearing old dad's skin and trying to do an impression of him, and it's. Weird. I don't like change. <laughs> Who cares about the whisper? What's going on, Sam? Bullshit. How How tell us about the loot crate, How Sam. Tell us about the loot crate. <gasps> He has a new character ah! sheet! I'm gonna ah! cry again. Mother lied! Ah. Nope, I yes. hate Terry, he's we a are, dick. We're gonna make actually, Laura cry! We Look are currently done. under. <laughs> dick. We are Fuck under. you, Ryan Green! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! The show is breaking apart! You are part of this too. Sam. <laughs> Show me on the character sheet where the bad DM touched you. <laughs> so, bringing it back to the current conversation at we hand. We are currently, currently yes. uh, employed right now. We're on a very, very dangerous a mission. A super important mission. However, it ends here. So, you know, if you have the coin, and maybe if you um, prove yourself not to be too much of like a lag behind, what a pussy, what you feel I was, like. I was so saying, bad. look, it's not like we don't have business right now. It, you you seem, uh, what does he seem like? Yeah, what do you do, Terry? I mean, you, I'm look, an look, he's an adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like a person, and that's great. <laughs> like Kenneth Branagh. Like a rat. I'm trying not to judge at the moment, and that's what you do. I yeah. know, I've had a bad day. What we does he do? We trust you to judge. That's my <laughs> biographer, Doty. Does he just write stuff? If I tell him to, he also has other skills. What does he have? Many things. I, I can grant powers to many people. For instance, you, little elf girl, what's your name? <laughs> I'm gonna move over. Oh, <laughs> hell no! <laughs> oh, I take it back, I like him. Oh, wait, wait, I'm stealthing. I am the side of my face. Heaving oh, he, he he breaths. Yeah. Keelan uses a fog cantrip and just fades into the highway. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> just X into the shadow. <laughs> It's like on a western when they cut back to the tavern and everyone's, everyone's gone. gone. Basically. <laughs> I walk up to him. What kind of adventurer are you? If you've never heard of Vox fucking Machina. Oh, I, uh, is that a, 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 a band of evildoers? Is that a, a roving uh, a Goliath horde? What, Where the what? fuck have you been? Where, who are you? 
No, really, who the fuck are you? My name is Terry and Darrington. <laughs> I, am, I am an adventurer, and I have more recently set out on my journey. That is true. This armor looks very new. I have not seen so many real battles yet, but I have fought many beasts. Mm. Uh, there was one, uh, it was a, a smallish beholder, and uh, my men uh, took it out into a field for me and sort of roughed it up for me. <laughs> and then when the time was right for the kill, they said, come on in and kill it. And I came in and used my powers and killed it, and I checked it off the list. Oh, I see. Yes. It was so thrilling. Your, your men, are, are you, um... The ones that died. Oh, right. right? Uh, they also perished. That was a different <laughs> group, yes. Wonderful. But they were well paid before they, they went, I, and they, I'm sure they sent some of the money home. Some of them, I think they do that, typically. <laughs> what else is on your list? What are you looking for? I've got a long list of uh, uh, beasts and animals that I'd like to slay. I'd Just like, give me one. Uh, Naga. I think that's how you say it. That is how you say it. It's actually nausea. Okay. Nausea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've already gotten a smaller beholder. Someday I'd like to see a dragon and maybe have a crack at it or two. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'd take it out in no time, dear. Right. Man, I fucking hate this guy. I feel like you're condescending to me. I'm, I'm not a. I'm not a dullard here. I can do a lot of things. My, my, my wealth has bought me many different artifacts from my travels, and they all do majorly magical things. What kind of weapons? Do you have? <laughs> I have a rod. Is An it, immovable is rod? It movable? No, it's whatever I want it to be. Sword! So you watch as the rod all of a sudden transforms into this sudden like liquid metal-like uh, visage and then solidifies into a long sword. Fire! It bursts into flames. Now that is fucking It's great. fucking cool, oh, isn't it? <laughs> How much money did that cost? Oh, like uh, 400,000 gold or something? It was a lot of money. I don't cry. Doty keeps the facts and figures. Doty, can you show me that piece of the book? Uh, well, turns that's it around. Embarrassing. <laughs> Sh shows the page to you and glance through it. And it, it, the actual construction of that item cost you upwards around 65 to 70,000 okay. gold pieces. That's it? It's a lot of money. Well, I know, but. <laughs> so wait, That's normal you want to come with us, or you you want us to come with you? I uh, I don't have a current adventure right now. Fire off. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still getting used to some of the contraptions. <laughs> Tell you what, Terry, 50,000 gold and you can follow us right now as we finish this very adventurous errand what? we're running. Thanks. Yeah. 50,000 gold. Small fee. What kind of adventure is this again? You mentioned you're going to do something very dangerous. It's it so is. dangerous so going dangerous. into this. Can you dangerous. tell me what it is? I'm afraid I can't. It's a test of your reflexes on point. How you handle things you're not quite ready for. I could limber up. <laughs> sure. I stealth up behind Keyleth and rest my chin on her shoulder and just say, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I just say, I know. Um, I, Vex. What? One moment, sir. <laughs> Huddle. Huddle. Is fifty thousand dollars worth dealing with this annoying piece of shit? While we go drop off a hand. Look, he, and you know, it just kind of feels like when your guinea pig dies as a kid, and then you immediately get another guinea pig to replace it. Like this isn't. This doesn't feel good. You don't I think like he's him, replacing right? Scanlan? No, I just. I don't want another guinea this pig. This piece of shit would never replace Scanlan. He's. He's a. Oh, he's a fabricator. He's, has he written it? He's, oh, he gets ghostwriters to write all of his books. I bet he does. He's a schmuck. He probably he's does. Keyleth, you don't like him very much, right? I don't like new people right now sure. as of yesterday. <laughs> but like 50,000 50, gold, and we have ourselves a very like flamboyant distraction. Think about it, for 50,000 gold, we're mm. only 15,000 gold away from getting one of those fucking flaming swords. While they're, while they're talking, I'm, I'm working on my, my rod. Battle axe! 
Look at how fucking cool that rod is! He's in. He's fucking in. No. Look at the back of the legs. Oh. Holy shit. You guys, I mean, he's like the worst alter ego version of Percy. He's a rich kid <gasps> who just buys all of his cool toys. No offense, Percy. No, take it. <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, He's I, not legit. I don't like him either, but I'll just say two words. Uh, Hotis bait. <gasps> yep. Yes. yep. Maybe he is Hotis. Well, yeah, what if he is Otis? He's not. You, how do you know, Croc? He hasn't tried to see I'm a dark me. wizard. I've always known. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to pretend I'm not mildly entertained by the distraction at the very least. We just have to <gasps> drop off a hand. And then he's yeah. going to take credit for dropping off a hand, like well, it's some crazy, miraculous thing. Let him take credit for Do the hand. Do you want credit for dropping off the hand? No, I don't care. I'm just, it's the <laughs> principle of the matter. Is there a fighting arena in Marquette? Or a, like a, 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 anywhere we could find a scrap if we wanted to? Uh, I Jeepers. mean, I believe there is. Let me find the name of it real fast. We also could report into a certain dragon about Things that have happened. We actually well. need to because oh. we promised Jarrett we would talk to Jamal. We have so many things to do. Let's just. <laughs> While Grog's thinking about that, I pull him aside and say, D Did I ever show you I know how to summon a dragon? Do you know how to do that? No. Watch and learn from my hand symbols. Whoa. What do you think of that, big guy? And I grab his hands with the tightly sewn knuckles and squeeze. Jeepers, creepers, you've killed my dragon! Go, 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 summon go, go, the dragon. Ah. Go, 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 drop it, go, 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 drop it, drop it. Good boy. Go see if I ever do anything nice for you again. <laughs> but I thought you were being taken over. Do you need me to I'm very proud of you. Will you kiss it? I thought And I walk away. He comes. Ooh, Come on. Slap happy. Come on, man. <laughs> Besides, I want to see him get the fight. Let's audition him at least. least. Yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. But Come I'm on, gonna pretty be, boy. I'm Let's gonna go. tell you about this. Don't you take this down. As the group turned around, I knew I had them. <laughs> <laughs> and our adventure <laughs> was about to begin and chapter. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate him so much! I hate him so much! I love him. Hi, Miss Scanlan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. As you guys decide, against your better judgment, to accept your companion for the time being. I don't like that word. You make your way into the Death's Respite Tavern to meet with Treve Bonebreaker and deliver the right hand. Wait, wait, I wanted that gold up front. Oh. I don't carry 50,000 gold with me on my person. Well, you carry platinum. How much do you have? I... Doty, how much platinum does he have on him right now? Doty, go ahead no and response. speak. Go ahead, Doty, speak. Doty. Oh, that's right, Doty can't speak. <laughs> Doty. Doty's, Doty's a, show Doty's me the a ledger. machine. How much platinum does he have on his person right now? There's no response. <laughs> Doty only listens to me if... Uh, you had some sort of a, a, a pet you would understand. Oh, oh, I'm gonna love Terry. Bex, Bex, kick his ass! Kick his ass, Bex! Gold up front, or you don't join us. How about this? I'll give you a little present, just for you, little elf girl. Uh, and I flip her a silver coin that I have uh, put a spell into. Uh, I don't catch the coin. You're like all the bad things it's about a piece the internet of and as a character. It's a, stupid a silver coin. It's, like it's a special coin. Sense. You should. Did he flip the coin? In pick her? it up. He did. I was, I was, I was thinking of intercepting it anyway. So okay, I'm gonna it, go easy to do with your gloves and missile snaring. Yeah, I have gloves and missile snaring. I intercept it. Well, that was for the elf girl. But all right, sure, you can use it too when you need it. If you just uh, hold that coin up, you'll turn invisible. That's seriously an invisible making no, coin? No, Grog, no, do not show satisfaction in the things he says. This is just my gut reaction, though. Even if you're impressed, we pretend like we're not. Pretend like you're not impressed. You I'm not that. saying I can't be bought, you but said that that's definitely a Hey, big man, yeah. look at this. <laughs> Heavy crossbow. 
It's an ocean major. I mean, really. Uh, hold on, hold on. Huh? Not impressed. You can shoot it. I want to shoot it. Yeah, oh shit, take it back. <laughs> you have no idea where it went. You aren't way out of your line of sight. Go! That was pretty good. That's cool. Yes. He stays. Let's get the hand to its final destination. <sighs> well, you can kill it and take the weapon. I it. will. He's, <laughs> he's slow. None of the rest of us like you. So fucking watch it, all right? We're such dicks. <laughs> yeah. And with that, we embarked on our new adventure. <laughs> <sighs> the adventures of, what was it again? <sighs> oh, what a <laughs> dillweed. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. <laughs> As you walk into the Death's Respite Tavern, we're going to end tonight's session there. I'll pick this up next week. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm so angry at you. Oh. I knew you were on the Critical Role wiki last night, oh. weren't you? Terry Berry. Yes, he was. He was all Terry there. Darrington. You ain't know Terry where I got the mother's <laughs> name, you motherfucker. I know all of your parents' After names. After Googling that shit. Because I love you. Whatever. I love you so Sam, much. you're the least. You don't care about it. I am it. the most sincere. That was amazing. I love that, that like amazing. I wish that, that I wish that everyone could see that the crew is in utter revolt behind us yes. right now. They yes. all got nervous. Yes. 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 That's right. That's right. You're tearing this family <laughs> apart. Ah, no, I'm so. tearing this tearing. Tearing. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Luke Crate, for sponsoring us. You guys are awesome. Uh, much love to you guys. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you soon. Is it Thursday yet? Big hit for Sam. See you next week.
tonight on American History Mysteries. The year, 1942. I decided to go with a secret weapon designed by one of our top men. My stepdad said I could make a robot. A giant robot? What have I done? My boosts are a ball. And why would you fall for my boasts of my boosts? All a ball? Because they are juicy. Like a really good orange. Everyone loves a really good orange. Except for me. I do not like oranges. Too juicy. Get out of here and never come back! I am from theater! Enough of my citrus-based reverie and theatrical yelling. Watch me now on Signal Boost! 